Gentlemen, it seems fate has brought us together on an unusual quest. Retrieving the Dragon Balls is no easy feat, but with our combined experience, I believe we can succeed. Believe me, nobody knows deal-making better than me. We'll have those Dragon Balls in no time. Just leave it to Trump. Hey, Donald, check out this comment from Ohio69666. They're celebrating their birthday with a Donald Trump-themed cake. How cool is that? Wow, that's amazing. Happy birthday to Ohio 69,666. I'm honored that they chose me as their cake theme. It's great to see our viewers enjoying our content in such a fun way. Absolutely. Ohio 69,006, I do. 636, we want to wish you the happiest of birthdays. May your day be filled with joy, laughter, and lots of delicious cake. Thanks for being a part of our community and for your continued support. Enjoy your special day. And to all our viewers, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Let's keep the celebration going. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Donald. This isn't exactly a real estate transaction. It requires strategy and finesse. Joe's right. We need to approach this with caution. Tormaya was no ordinary craftsman. His Dragon Balls are powerful artifacts, and they must be handled with care. Careful? Where's the fun in that? I say we storm in there, guns blazing, and take what's rightfully ours. And risk causing an international incident? No, thank you. We need a more subtle approach. Barack's right. We can't afford any missteps. Remember, the world is watching. Fine, fine. But mark my words, we'll get those Dragon Balls, and it'll be the greatest victory in the history of, well, everything. Speaking of history, how about we reflect on our own legacies while we're here? After all, we're not just three former presidents on a wild goose chase. We're a living testament to the resilience of democracy. Donald, I have to admit, your time in office certainly sparked some spirited debates. You could say that again, Barack, but hey, love me or hate me, you can't deny I shook things up in Washington. That's one way to put it, Donald. But let's not forget the importance of bipartisanship and unity, especially in times like these. Agreed. Now, back to the task at hand. We need a plan of action. Any ideas? Well, here's what I'm thinking. We use our connections, our networks. I've got contacts all over the globe. We leverage those relationships to track down the Dragon Balls efficiently. That could work, Donald. Your network could indeed be an asset in this endeavor. But we must also consider the potential risks of involving too many outside parties. Barack's right. We don't want this mission turning into a circus. We need to maintain a tight grip on information and ensure we're the ones calling the shots. As we strategize, let's not lose sight of the bigger picture. This mission isn't just about acquiring powerful artifacts. It's about protecting our world and ensuring the safety of all Americans. Barack's right. The Dragon Balls have the potential to alter reality itself. We must handle them with extreme caution to prevent any unintended consequences. I get what you're saying, Joe. We can't afford to mess this up but let's be real here folks no matter what we do there's bound to be some backlash you're not wrong donald in this age of social media every move we make is scrutinized and dissected by millions we need to be prepared for the inevitable wave of criticism and skepticism absolutely barack and let's not forget about the trolls they're lurking around every corner waiting to pounce on any misstep or moment of weakness tell me about it i've been the subject of some of the most ridiculous memes you can imagine but you know what they say any publicity is good publicity right I suppose so, Donald. But let's try to stay focused here. Our priority is completing this mission and safeguarding the Dragon Balls from falling into the wrong hands. So, Donald, you mentioned you have a lead on the location of the Dragon Balls. Care to share more details? Ah, uh, you know me, Barack. Always keeping my cards close to the chest. Let's just say I have it on good authority that the Dragon Balls are hidden in a place you'd never expect. And how exactly did you come by this information, Donald? Let's just say a little birdie whispered in my ear, trust me, when you find out where they're hidden, you'll be surprised and ask for how we'll get there. Well, let's just say it'll be the ride of a lifetime. I hope you're not suggesting we parachute into some remote jungle or dive into the depths of the ocean. Now, now, Barack, where's your sense of adventure? I promise you this mission will be more exhilarating than anything you've experienced in the Oval Office. That's not saying much, Donald. I seem to recall a certain someone who had a penchant for causing chaos and controversy. Speaking of chaos, let's not forget about your infamous driving skills, Donald. I think I'd feel safer letting Biden take the wheel. Hey now, my driving may not be what it used to be, but at least I don't leave a trail of destruction in my wake. Oh, come on, guys. You know I like to live life in the fast lane. Besides, what's an adventure without a few bumps in the road? Let's just hope those bumps don't lead us straight into disaster. We need to approach this mission with caution and precision not reckless abandon. Relax, Barack, where's your sense of fun? This mission is our chance to make history, to prove that we're still relevant even after leaving office. He's got a point, Barack. This could be our opportunity to show the world what we're made of. I suppose you're right, Joe, but let's not forget the stakes here. The Dragon Balls are powerful artifacts and if they fall into the wrong hands. Don't worry, Barack, we'll make sure they end up in the right hands. Trust me, Barack, you'll be thanking me when we're holding those Dragon Balls in our hands. As for my source, let's just say they have a vested interest in seeing this mission succeed. Well, I suppose we'll have to trust your judgment on this one, Donald, but let's keep our guard up. 
We can't afford any surprises. Speaking of surprises, have you ever wondered why Toramaya created the Dragon Balls in the first place? It's not every day someone crafts objects with such immense power. That's a good question, Joe. From what I've read, Toramaya was a skilled craftsman who believed in using his talents for the greater good. Exactly. The Dragon Balls were meant to be a force for good, a way to bring hope and restore balance to the world. But as often happens, trouble arose when they fell into the wrong hands. Well, lucky for us, those wrong hands won't be getting anywhere near the Dragon Balls. Not on my watch. Let's hope you're right, Donald. We can't afford any slip-ups on this mission. The fate of the world may very well depend on it. Agreed, Barack. We owe it to Toramaya and to all those who have suffered because of the Dragon Balls to see this through to the end. Donald, what are you doing? Fun doesn't have to involve risking our lives, Donald. Relax, dickhead. We're not going to drown. Trust me, I've got this all under control. Who's going to drive the boat? I'm too old to drown in the ocean. Don't worry, Sleepy Joe, I'll take care of it. And besides, even if you do end up swimming with the fishes, it'll be counted as a great service for your dear nation, the United States of America. That's not exactly reassuring, Donald. I knew something was off the moment Trump said the mission will be fun and adventurous. My guts told me he's up to no good. Stop being a bunch of pussies. We've all encountered far more dangerous situations than this, and we've always come out on top. We're not about to let a little thing like the ocean scare us off. Donald, can you maneuver this boat in such strong ocean waves? It is coming with serious rage. I really need to know this is not my end. And are you sure you know how to operate this boat, Donald? Of course I can handle it. Stop questioning me, both of you. You both know I wouldn't even try it if I was not sure I can do it. Look, Donald, I'm not afraid of dying, but I'd prefer a less painful and traumatic death than drowning in the depths of the ocean. Stop being scared, both of you. The jewel we seek is not on land or on water, but in the depths of the ocean. Once I get the coordinates to its location, we'll need to go underwater to retrieve it. I'm not sure about going underwater. I've always had a phobia of the deep. Well. If you are sure that you know what you are doing and that we are getting out of this deep alive, then I'm in for it. Well, looks like Sleepy Joe here's ready to step up to the plate. That's the tone of a man who's ready to ensure the safety of his home, not some baron of incompetence who gets scared sheepishly. Donald, that's uncalled for. We're all in this together, remember? Gentlemen, that's enough. We're on a mission here. and Personal differences won't help us achieve our goal. Let's focus on the task at hand and leave the petty squabbles behind. All right, guys, it seems we're approaching the location of our jewel. Are we still sticking to the plan? What plan? Your plan to conquer the world or my plan to save it? Are you kidding me, Biden? Just pulling your leg, Donald. Just let me know when I'm ready when you are. Look at him go. Joe may not be the youngest or the strongest among us, but he's showing incredible determination down there. Yeah, I gotta hand it to him. Old Joe's really stepping up when it counts. Toriyama would be proud to see us right now retrieving his lost invention. Absolutely. Say what you will about our differences, but when it comes down to it, we make a pretty good team. Agreed. And once we have the last Dragon Ball in our possession, we'll ensure it's safeguarded properly. Woo, that was quite the swim. Did you miss me, gentlemen? Miss you? I barely even noticed you were gone, Sleepy Joe. Come on, Donald. Give the man some credit. He just retrieved the Dragon Ball for us. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just get back to the surface before I turn into a prune. You know, once we get back, I fully expect to be trolled mercilessly on Twitter if this mission fails. Oh, don't worry, Joe. I'm sure they'll save some memes for all of us. Trump's face will probably be plastered all over the internet. Hey, now watch it, Barack. I'll have, you know, I'm a meme connoisseur. I've seen them all. I'm sure you have, Donald. But I think I speak for all of us when I say we'd prefer to avoid becoming the punchline of the internet's latest joke. Absolutely. Let's make sure we succeed in our mission so we can avoid the humiliation of becoming viral memes. You know, guys, this mission has been quite the adventure. Reminds me of some of the challenges we faced during our time in office. Yeah, but at least this time we're not dealing with pesky reporters or political opponents breathing down our necks. That's true, but let's not forget the lessons we learned during our administrations. Unity, perseverance, and a commitment to doing what's right for the American people. Absolutely, Joe. And speaking of unity, I think it's pretty remarkable that the three of us are working together like this, despite our political differences. Yeah, who would have thought we'd ever team up to retrieve a magical wish-granting orb, huh? Certainly not me, but hey, stranger things have happened. That's for sure. But regardless of what happens next, I'm proud of what we've accomplished here today. Tell me too, Barack. Me too. Ah, there's our car right where we left it. Looks like we've made it back to our world in one piece. Congratulations, gentlemen. I must confess, this is one of the most adventurous missions I've ever embarked on, but I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anyone else but you two. Well, when all this is over, you both must remember who led you through the most adventurous mission of your career. Oh, we'll never hear the end of it, will we, Joe? Probably not, Barack. But hey, it's all in good fun. That's the spirit, Sleepy Joe. Now let's get back to land and celebrate our victory in style. You know, it's moments like these that remind me of the importance of unity and cooperation. Despite our differences, we were able to come together and accomplish something remarkable. Absolutely, Barack, and I think that's a lesson we can all carry forward, both in our personal lives and in our collective efforts to make the world a better place. Well said, Joe. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Oh, don't get too excited, Donald. I'm not about to start quoting you anytime soon. Ha 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 ha. 
Let's not get ahead of ourselves, gentlemen. We may have retrieved the Dragon Ball, but our work is far from over. We must ensure it's kept safe and protected from those who would misuse its power. Agreed, Barack. And who better to trust with such an important task than the three of us? Looks like we've got a message. It says we need to return to base immediately. Any idea what this could be about? Not sure, Barack. It could be anything from a security threat to a logistical issue. Well, whatever it is, we better get back there pronto. Can't afford to waste any time, especially after the success of our mission. Agreed. Let's head back and see what's going on. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. You're right, Barack. It could be a false alarm or a minor issue that needs to be addressed. Well, I don't like the sound of it. We need to be prepared for anything. Donald, let's not panic. We've faced plenty of challenges before and come out on top. We'll handle this like we always do, with composure and determination. Barack's right. Let's stay focused and approach this with a level head. Fine, fine. But mark my words, we better get to the bottom of this quickly. Time is of the essence. Donald, slow down. You're driving recklessly. Yeah, Trump, calm down. We'll get to our destination in one piece. Whatever the problem is, we'll tackle it as a team. I just want to get there fast enough. Who knows what's waiting for us at the base? If you calm down, we'll get there in one piece. We've faced worse challenges together. But if you continue to drive like this, we might not even make it to find out why we got the emergency signal. Let's not forget your relentless ambition, Donald. You're itching to contest, win, and rule America again, but you won't be able to do any of that if you crash this car. That's right, Donald. You have to stay alive if you have any desire to leave this country again. So calm down, man. Don't worry, guys. We'll get to our destination in one piece. I'm just concerned about what if it's something serious? What if the state is under attack? What if your family, Barack, has been kidnapped? Step on the gas, Trump. We need to get there as soon as possible. Guys, if we lose the Dragon Ball because we couldn't keep our cool, then all our efforts will have been for nothing, and I will not forgive the both of you. Relax, Joe. My driving skills are better than you think. We'll get to the base in one piece, and we won't lose the Dragon Ball. Donald, please, focus on the road. We can't afford any distractions right now. This isn't just about your driving skills, Donald. We need to improve our emotional intelligence. Letting our emotions get the better of us is almost ruining the mission. Hey, I'm just trying to get us there as fast as possible. We don't know what's waiting for us at the base. I understand that, Donald. But rushing into things without thinking things through can lead to mistakes. We need to stay level-headed and approach the situation with caution. Exactly, Barack. Emotions have a way of clouding our judgment. We need to remain calm and focused if we want to succeed. You know, guys, after this mission, I've been thinking a lot about what I desire most. And honestly, it's just to spend more quality time with my family. During my time in office, there were so many sacrifices, so many missed moments with Michelle and the girls. I want to make up for all of that, create new memories, and cherish every moment with them. I hear you, Barack. Family is everything. For me, it's about seeing my grandchildren grow up. I want to be there for every milestone, every little victory, and maybe just maybe spoil them a bit if Jill lets me. Well, for me, it's about reclaiming my legacy. I want to be remembered as one of the greatest leaders America has ever seen. That's why I'm considering another run for the presidency. I still have so much more to do for this country. Another run? Donald? You sure you're up for it? The presidency is no walk in the park. Absolutely, Barack. I've proven time and time again that I'm up for any challenge. Yeah, we are here. What's going on? Ah, Los Santos, you jewel of chaos and crime. Today you meet your match. They call me Titan, and it's not because I'm gentle. No, they say to make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs. Well, Los Santos, consider yourself the egg. And me? I'm not just breaking you, I'm scrambling you to oblivion. Come on, heroes of Los Santos. Show yourselves. I've seen scarier things in a pet store. Are you the cats, or am I the mouse? Let's dance. They say every villain is the hero of his own story. Well, in my story, Los Santos gets a makeover, starting with all of this. Urban renewal, Titan style. Ah, here come the city's finest, ready to take on the mighty Titan. Let's hope you're more entertaining than the last batch. They folded faster than a lawn chair at a cheap picnic. Oops, there goes someone's ride. Hope they had insurance. You think you can stop me? I faced bigger challenges finding a decent cup of coffee in this town. You're just another bump in the road, a road I'm currently demolishing. Oh, Los Santos, you thought you'd seen it all, but you've never faced to force like me. It's time for a little education. Let's call it Titan 101 bowing down and gracing your new king. Lesson 1 power. It's not just about what you have, but how you use it, and I intend to use mine to reshape this city in my image. Lesson 2 fear. It's the greatest motivator you run, you hide, but deep down you know there's no escaping me. Embrace the fear it makes you wise. Lesson 3 respect. Earned through strength, demonstrated through action. See this? It's a metaphor. I bring down the old to make way for the new my new order. You know, they say power corrupts, but I say power enlightens. It's shown me my destiny to be the ruler Los Santos cries out for, even if it doesn't know it yet. So here's your choice. Los Santos bow down and grace me as your ruler, or face- I'll turn the city into a monument of my might, a testament to those who dared defy Titan. I look forward to seeing your decision. Make it wisely, or you'll find that my lessons in tyranny have only just begun. Remember, I'm not just teaching Los Santos a lesson, I'm rewriting the curriculum. And let me not forget to mention, I am the best of the best. Los Santos, your so-called superheroes are mere children playing dress-up compared to me. So where is this superhero of Los Santos? 
the one who fancies himself stronger, smarter, more powerful than me. Step forward. I yearn for a worthy challenge, a one-on-one, -on -one, just you and me. Let's see who truly holds the power to shape this city. Oof. Ooh, two. Gotta look sharp for those election cameras, plus it wouldn't hurt to lose a few pounds before the big debates. Bro, the only thing you're going to lose is maybe your balance. Some things are just meant to be the way they are. Just accept who you are, Donald. Oh, come on, Barack. You know the camera adds 10 pounds. Just making sure I'm ready for my close-up. LMAO, did you just say lose weight, Donald? I thought the only thing you needed to lose is this year's election. Joe, that hurts, really. But don't worry, I'll be sure to wave to you from the winner's circle. After my morning jog. Oh boy, it's hotter than a campaign trail in July out there. I could really go for an ice cream cone melting all over my hand right now. That's a platform I can support. A two scoops for Biden policy might just unite the whole country. Guys, have you checked your socials this morning? There's some villain stirring up trouble in the city. Goes by the name Titan. Titan? What kind of name is that? Sounds like a brand of wristwatch. What does this guy even want? Let me see here. This fellow, where's he from? Never heard of him. Maybe he's one of those internet sensations famous for 15 minutes and then poof, gone. I'm all for it. In fact, I've got my tub of leftover ice cream from yesterday. Maybe we can cool him down with a scoop or two. Really, Joe? Ice cream? We're about to confront a city wrecking colossus, and you're thinking about dessert diplomacy? Let's get moving, boys. If we don't stop Titan soon, there won't be a city left to save, let alone any ice cream shops. You never know, Barack. A little sweetness might be just what we need to defrost this guy's heart. If not, well, I've got my shotgun as a backup plan. Sleepy Joe, I think you should remain for today's mission. I think me and Obama got this figured out. Hell no, am going. Holy shit, Titan's not here to have a tea party, that's for sure. Geez, looks like diplomacy's gonna be a little tougher than we thought. No sweat, folks. Remember the kryptonite concoction we took? We've got our own powers now. Let's show this wannabe god what real power looks like. I asked for a superhero to challenge me, not a trio of wishy-washy presidents. I'll grind you into the pavement. Looks like someone's been drinking too much of their own Kool-Aid. Let's snap him out of it, fellas. Let's tango, big guy. I've dealt with bullies like you before. You used to call EM senators. Remember, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. And trust me, we've got plenty of fight. You know, Titan, in the business world, we call this leverage, and right now, we've got all of it. And in politics, we call this campaigning. I'm just kissing babies and shaking hands with my fists. And in my book, we call this hope, hope that you're renting, because you're about to get evicted. Who does this fucker think he is, barging into our city like he owns the place? It's time for a little presidential intervention. If there's one thing I know, it's how to close a deal. Or in this case, close a case. All right, Donald, it's time to unleash the art of the fight on this fool. He's about to learn that you don't mess with America's finest. And by America's finest, I mean me, of course. This Titan is gonna feel the full force of Trump Tower. Let's see how he handles a boardroom brawl. No board, no room, just good old-fashioned American brawn. All right, Titan, who are you really and what do you want in Los Santos? I am Titan, the Invincible, and what I want is simple submission. I've seen the likes of you three, and none can match my power. Invincible? Please. The only thing invincible about you is your ego. We face down bigger threats than you. Just ask the last guy who tried to outdo us. Yeah, and he thought he was tough too, but there's nothing weaker than a bully. What's the matter, Titan? No friends to play with? Friends? Titans need no friends. And you will learn that there's nothing but futility in your resistance. Futility, huh? We've heard that one before. The only futile thing here is your plan. You're looking at the United States of knockout right here. Exactly. We've handled recessions, oil spills, and international diplomacy. You're just another Tuesday to us. And don't think we're like those superheroes in your comic books. We don't wear capes, we roll up our sleeves. You think you can defeat me? I have crushed worlds beneath my feet. And yet here you are, trying to crush a city that's seen its share of trouble. Let me tell you, Los Santos is tougher than it looks, because of us. And let's not forget who's really running this show. Ever heard of the Trump card? You're looking at it. I'd say we're more of a full house and buddy, your hand's not looking too good. Your words mean nothing. I will show you the true meaning of power. You know, for a Titan, you sure do a lot of talking. Why don't we skip to the part where we save the day? I'm ready for that. Let's see if he's as tough as his talk. All right, Titan, school's in session and we're about to teach you a lesson in humility. You know, Titan, history is littered with big guys like you who thought they were invincible. But there's one thing they all have in common they lost, and you, my overconfident friend, are going to join that list. Just the other day, we put the kibosh on a fella named Red Hood. Compared to that, taking you down will be like passing a bipartisan bill challenging, but oh, so satisfying. And don't get us started on interdimensional villains. We faced threats from alternate realities and still made it back in time for lunch. Guess what? We whooped the asses like toddlers. You three are nothing? You think you can defeat me with your puny words and jests? It's not just words we're armed with. We've got the full might of the presidential office behind us. And trust me, it packs quite the punch. Absolutely. We've strategized our way through global crises, Titan. Think of this as just another problem to solve. You're big, but our resolve is bigger. Yeah, and honestly, you're not even the scariest thing we've faced. Ever had to negotiate healthcare reform. Now that's a beast. Enough. 
I will silence your insolence once and for all. Oh, we're just getting started. You're the before picture, Titan. And we're about to make a before and after that Los Santos will never forget. All right, let's circle around him. Use our presidential prowess. Lincoln dealt with divisions we deal with, titans. This reminds me of my younger days, scrappy and ready. Except back then, I didn't have two presidents watching my back. I'll crush you. Stick together and remember, there's no I in team, but there's definitely a you in thump, which is what we're about to give you, big guy. We've always been about hope, and right now, I hope we've got some more of that kryptonite concoction left. After we're done here, we're going to rename this city. How about Los Potos has a nice ring to it? Who needs the gym, huh? This is how presidents do cardio, flying around, throwing punches. It's the ultimate full body workout. You hear that, Titan? For us, this is just a warm up. You're not a menace, you're a personal trainer. To us, bro. And here I was worried we were getting complacent in retirement. Turns out you're the most fun we've had in months. This is better than a game of pickup basketball. Flying around and punching sure beats jogging five miles on the treadmill. Thanks for spicing up our routine. Absolutely. I might even cancel my golf membership after this. Who knew saving the city would be such a great workout? We'll be in the best shape of our lives at this rate. Maybe we should start a new fitness craze out of awe to Pilates or executive kickboxing. I can see it now. Biden's boot camp battle. The baddies will make fitness patriotic again. And after we're done here, I'll trademark it. Trump's total body triumph will franchise it nationwide. Just make sure you include the disclaimer, workouts may involve battling actual titans. Results may vary. We're redefining presidential fitness. Forget the Secret Service. Our security detail will just be us in peak physical form. What's the matter, Titan can't keep up? This is just how we roll? Yep, consider this your presidential fitness assessment. Spoiler alert, you're not passing. I've got to make sure this looks good for Twitter. When I beat Titan's ass, it's going to be huge. Everyone get ready, especially you, Biden. Don't photobomb this one with that old and pale face of yours. Oh, don't worry, Donald. I'll just be over here making sure the real action gets in the frame. Wouldn't want to distract from your moment with my winning smile. You are weak. Ganging up on me three against one, it's not a fair match. You asked for a hero to challenge, Titan. You should have been more specific if you didn't want the whole package. So that's where we came as three. Don't come to Los Santos and stir up trouble unless you're ready for the consequences. You poke the bee, you get the sting. Just think of the hashtags, presidential smackdown, take takedown. We're going viral, boys. Let's make sure it's for a knockout, not a meme. I can see it now, Joe Biden, not just president, but meme in chief. But don't worry, Donald, I'll let you have this one. Just make sure my good side is showing. Silence. Your words are as empty as your threats. I will crush you all. It's more than just tweets and memes, Titan. It's about standing up for our city but sure we'll take the trending topic along with the victory. Make sure you get my good side, folks. This is going to be one for the history books in my timeline. Hey, Barack, think we can get this frame for the Oval? Best presidents ever. Only if we include the caption. When Titans fall the day Los Santos stood tall, let's wrap this up, gentlemen. For the city, for the memes, and for the memes, and for the tweets. With all this destruction Titans caused, we need a solid plan to support the people of Los Santos. What's on the table? I've got it. How about free ice cream for a day? It'll boost morale. Oh, and let's throw in Legos for the kids and Cheetos for everyone. Snacks and bricks, it's a win-win. And how exactly is that going to help rebuild Los Santos, Joe? Free ice cream and Legos don't exactly address the current situation. Irrelevant, Biden. Here's a real solution. I'll build walls. Tall, beautiful walls around Los Santos. Keep out any future Titans or unwanted guests. Walls? I will crush all those walls. Your efforts are futile against me. That's also irrelevant. Building walls isn't the answer to everything, Donald, and free ice cream while nice won't rebuild a city. All right, smart guy, what would you do then? If you're so sure our ideas won't cut it, let's hear yours. Well, first off, I'd expand Obamacare here. Ensure everyone affected by this mess has access to health care for their injuries without worrying about the hospital bills. That's a solid plan, Barack. Health care coverage is crucial, but you know, free ice cream could really help with the emotional healing. Good point, Obama, healthcare is key. But let's not forget, walls can have doors, emergency exits for future Titans, just saying. How about we combine our ideas, healthcare morale boosting measures and strategic infrastructure that doesn't necessarily involve walls. Perfect, a real bipartisan effort. Ice cream and healthcare for all. And maybe a few strategically placed walls with doors, Titan-sized doors. All right, Titan, I think it's nap time for you. We've got a schedule to keep, and frankly, I'm getting tired of your face. Yes, it's time we concluded this little brawl. But how do we ensure our friend here takes a permanent timeout? Yeah, what's the grand plan? And please, no more suggestions involving Twitter polls. Leave it to me. I've got a strategy. It's going to be huge. Titan won't see it coming. What's this? A secret huddle. Scared to face me, are you? Oh, zip it, motherfucker. You'll see. We've got a special surprise just for you. And for the record, we were just planning your retirement party. Here's your RSVP, you fucker. See? What did I tell you? A walk in the park. And here I was thinking my jump rope routine was impressive. That was unexpectedly effective. Nicely done, Donald. Told you I had a plan. When it comes to dealing with guys like these one who call themselves a titan, now what's that even? That sounds so nerdy, consider me your go-to guy. Well, this is villain number what? 
How many does this make now? One, two, three, four. Oh, shoot, there are too many to count. We've taken down so many, even I've lost track. And they haven't seen the end of us yet. This city has its very own presidential guard. Seems like retirement's a lot busier than we anticipated. Wait, what the f Why are there war of you, Obama? Wait, what the f Why are there two of you, Obama? It's so sad that I couldn't find it. It would be best if you guys did something about that. Reception is sorry about that, sir. You know how crazy it is that you're throwing tantrums over a freaking chocolate bar, huh? I don't care what you think. It's my satisfaction first before any other thing. I can't see why a store like that wouldn't have the brand of chocolate bar I like. That's ridiculous, unbelievable, and unacceptable. Unacceptable? But you're already leaving the store and moving on with your life. It seems you've accepted already. Oh, shut up, Sleepy Joe. I've got other things to do. I'm not like you who can't set my priorities straight. Everybody knows I'm a straightforward stand on business guy. Chocolate can always come later. Yeah, I believe the stand on business part. That's why you took us underwater and almost let us get drowned and eaten by a shark. That's pretty much standing on business. Respect. About the drowning part, that was you fucking dimwit. You were the one who almost got us drowned. Did you think I would forget? How was that even my fault? The fucking old tortoise opened old wounds with that single mission. Old wounds that you caused with your greediness. If you weren't trying to steal every treasure underwater, you wouldn't have an old wound. What did you think you were? A pirate. Better leave me out of your nonsense. Admit you were trying to get us killed too. If we didn't drown, the sharks would have eaten us up for real. I won't let you slander my name on this channel, Donald Trump. Never. What the fuck are you saying? Just answer yes or no. All right, guys, shut the hell up. Let there be peace. You can go to a clubhouse if you need a place to scream. We haven't discussed our plans and what to do with those guys. Yeah, yeah, come into that. Are you sure you got the right information? It is late already. I'm not deaf. I know what I heard. What are you two talking about? I hope you aren't trying to leave me behind. We are talking about the mission tonight. Are you deaf? Oh, which is it, hunting? What the fuck? Don't tell me you forgot. If dementia were a human, I would shoot him right in the middle of his head. Hunting of animals, no. Hunting of humans, yes. Joe Biden, don't tell me you forgot the folks we are targeting today. I told you we will clear John's operation and his group. Why is it so difficult to work with you? Oh, 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 wait, who is John, if I may ask? Obama, I have a quick suggestion. Drop him off here and let's move ahead. He would never catch up. I only asked a simple question because I thought you said we were going hunting. And you all know how much I love hunting. Oh shit, my head hurts from trying to explain things to you. This is someone who forgets his name, ignores his family, forgets he's alive, even forgets he runs a country. You weren't expecting much from him, were you, Obama-rama? I forgot about that. You two are being mean. I didn't do anything to hurt you. I'm just a simple old man trying to understand what's happening in my environment. Believe me, no one's going to fall for that. Now, keep your ears with you as I explain this again. I at Captain. Whenever you say that, I know deep in my heart that you will forget it the next second. First, we're targeting some henchmen near the observatory. Now, look at that guy running over. He knows we're coming for him. He's trying to get away. How far does he think he can run? Boy, your legs aren't fast enough. I can tell you that for free. Now go to hell. He's dead already. Are you planning on wasting the bullets on one body? Don't you think with your brain? Look at me and look at yourself. Who would people say has a functioning brain, huh? Don't try to teach me my job. Now that he's dead, what next? We are done here on to the next. You might want to hurry up a bit. I have other engagements tonight. But can't it wait till some other day? No way, I've done that before. Done what? Procrastinated enough. No one is talking to me. What are you going to do next? Are we going home now? Going home? Haha. -ha. We just got started, Joey. Brace up. Next, we're going after John's brother, who helps him run the business most of the time. The guy is another crazy John. I had an encounter previously about two, and I did not like him. So tonight, with the power vested in me, I at this moment declare him a dead folk. Wow, that sounds scary coming from you. What happened to the peace-loving part of you? That's him right there. Pull over, man. You cannot run away. Peace-loving? You misunderstood all these while? Obama has only been pretending to love peace. He doesn't love it. Shut up, Trump. You have no right to say what I love and do not love. Oh, he's a smart driver. I don't think you can catch him, Obama-rama. What the fuck? Have you ever heard of Obama the driver? Don't ever doubt my driving skill, Joey, or I will throw you out. But he's smarter and faster than you here, or am I blind? Just shut up. He's not doing anything special. It's because it's dark already. The debate of who drives better should stay between you and Trump. Please don't bring any of that nonsense close to me. What nonsense? Please don't put my name in the same sentence as Joe Biden. I drive better than him. Ten times better at that. Have you ever seen his shaky hands on the steering wheels? You would conclude that would be your last day on Earth. I don't think you're talking to me. Screw you. Joe Biden, you said something about this guy being the better driver. What was that again? Cat cut caught in your tongue, Joey? Whatever. Now that we're done, can we go now? I can't believe this is the mission you were making noise about. What's so serious about this? We asked a simple question, and you didn't answer. Of course, we know what no reply means. Next time, don't compare me to these street urchins. That's highly disrespectful. Got that. Let's go now, shall we? And wait, what did you say about going? Going where? Don't tell me you think we're going home from here. 
Sleepy Joe, there's one more task, which is the ultimate one. Wait, we're not done? Oh shit. I got a message, and now we have his location. That bastard will be out of this world in no time. Are you sure about this information? What if it's a trap? It's trusted. We're good to go. Remind me, who are we talking about here? John, John you idiot. idiot. Oh, chill, guys. It was a harmless question. Sometimes keep quiet and don't ask any questions. He's at the airport. We better go stop him from leaving, or it's mission failed. I know you're about to ask who John is, Mr. Joe Biden. He's one of the top smugglers in the country. So we have to be careful, because that guy has many minions willing to die at the mention of his name. So if we're dealing with someone who has those kinds of people willing to die at the mention, then why are we going after him? They'll kill us without thinking. Oh shit, we're never getting out of this mess. Joey, I'll deal with you later. Right now, I want to focus on that guy. No, for real, because I don't want to die. Can someone talk to me? Don't be a ridiculous, demented old man. We've gone for worse missions, just three of us against a thousand army, and we still emerge victorious. What makes you think this would be different, huh? I don't know. Is he a smuggler? He has the craziest weapons? And we have the craziest skills. So shut up and stop panicking. Yeah, we have the craziest skills, except the one that doesn't remember anything. I don't be stupid, Barack Obama. Oh, wow. I didn't even mention a name. I'm glad you're accepting this. Shut up already. We'll do that later. Now, guys, we're here. Your ears and eyes should be sharp. So, guys, it is dark, so you won't see properly. Shoot on sight. Don't waste any fucking time. Did you hear me, Joe Biden? Wait, why are you calling my name? I thought this was supposed to be for both of us. Anyway, everybody loves the name Joe Biden. Don't flatter yourself. I called your name because you're the dumbest. We can't get rid of you right now because we need more hands. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Don't waste any time. Ouch. I felt that on your behalf, Sleepy Joe. You're out of your mind, Obama. How dare you insult me like that? You think this is the right time for a fight? Come on, let's do this later. We're quite busy now. Wow. You insult me and tell me to ignore you. You're out of your stupid black-colored mind. Wow. At least they won't say it's just Donald Trump. That's great. Fool, I didn't tell you to ignore it. I just said we shouldn't do that now. But since you want this, you're going to have it. You've tried long and hard enough to hide your racist ass. I'm glad it still found its way out. Whatever you think is none of my business. I won't let you have your way because you're leading the team today. Make sure your legs are stable on the ground before shaky daddy. Can anyone see him yet? Your tiny legs can't compare with mine, and you know this, Obama. Don't be delusional. You can never compare. You mean with those chopsticks? Can you two stop your nonsense and focus already? I promise I didn't come here to die. We can always multitask, Trumpy. You taught me that. The two of you don't look like it. I'm the only one who has the mental capacity to multitask. You're already making a mess of the mission. Focus on this and we're going to lose him. You fail to underestimate me. I never fail any task given to me. It won't start with this. How many more lies do you need to tell to stay relevant on this channel? Do you need me to burst your bubbles? What stupid bubbles are you talking about? Remember the time the young boy asked you to help him find his dog? Well, you did, but let's get run over by a car. What, seriously, Obama? It wasn't my fault. I didn't mean for that to happen. All I wanted to do was return the dog safely. I fucking hate you, Biden. I thought we agreed not to let anyone know about this. Sometimes promises can be broken, fam. And this one just got broken. Oh, we're in the business of spilling secrets now, huh? Why, wait, wait, where have I been all these while? When did all these happen? Finally, we've taken them all down. You know I have nothing in my closet, Obama-rama. You have absolutely nothing to say, so get out. Remember that your one club video, I'm not sorry to let you know, but I didn't delete it. Maybe this is the perfect time to show the whole world and let Americans know who you are. Wait, what the f***? I begged you to delete that shit. I thought you said you have nothing in your closet? It's nothing serious. This has nothing to do with you. Let's use the plane out of here. Mission accomplished. Now everyone can go back to their wives, lives, and all. Talk to me, f***ing malfunction robot. What were you saying again? Remind me. Why the hell didn't you delete the video? Because it is my device and I can do whatever I want. Don't ask me that. I pleaded with you and even treated you to dinner. I'm going to crush you. Before thinking of crushing me, you should worry about your reputation first. It's just a little to the election day. Expect a pretty surprise from me. I know you're working with Trump. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh -huh. What the f*** is going on? Everybody get the hell out. How the hell did that happen? What did you do, Obama? How was that my fault? Keep my name out of your fucking mouth. Oh shit, my whole body feels roasted. I need to go to the hospital. My neck. Wait, Joe, you mentioned Trump just before that explosion. What the hell did I do? Leave that for now. For now. Well, that was anticlimactic.
All this fuss over a malfunctioning signal? Typical. Leave it to the government to scare us half to death over nothing. You both were acting like a couple of scared puppies when we got that alert, jumping at shadows and whatnot. Hey, Sleepy Joe, it's better to be safe than sorry, Joe. Yeah, but let's not go into panic mode every time there's a false alarm. We need to keep our heads cool and think rationally. And who made you the expert on emotional intelligence, Joe? Well, considering the way you two acted back there, it's clear I have more emotional intelligence than the both of you combined. So maybe I should be in charge of the next mission. Oh, come on, Joe. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. That's why we make such a great team. He's got a point, Joe. We may not always see eye to eye, but when we work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. All right, all right. I suppose you both have a point. We do make a pretty good team when we put our minds to it. Let's put off this crazy signal. Yes, Joe. And let's not forget we've faced far greater challenges than a malfunctioning signal in the past. That's right. We've stared down threats from all corners and come out on top every time. Well, I guess I can't argue with that, but let's make sure we learn from this little mishap. We need to keep our cool and not let false alarms throw us off track. What the f is going on there? Isn't he the man who just gave a wonderful speech on emotional intelligence? Joe's getting his ass kicked. We need to do something. Turns out even he needs some combat intelligence. Donald, you should do something before Biden is knocked out by this pot-bellied fella. Joe, beyond emotional intelligence, you still need to learn the art of engagement in combat. Don't bring fists to a gunfight, Sleepy Joe. Thanks, Donald. That was close. I almost knocked the guy out, though. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't just allow anyone to access the signal system. It's against protocol. I get that, but you have to trust me on this. Lives could be at stake if we don't deactivate it now. We can't afford to waste any more time. I hear you, sir, but I can't make exceptions. We have strict protocols in place for a reason. Look, I'm not asking you to break protocol. I'm asking you to use your judgment. This is an emergency and we need to act fast. Lives are on the line here. I understand, sir, but I can't take that risk. I'll need authorization from higher up before I can allow you access to the system. We don't have time for that. Lives could be in danger right now. Please, I'm begging you, let me shut down the signal. We can sort out the paperwork later. What's causing the delay, Joe? We need to shut down that signal now. Sometimes, Joe, you can't offer dialogue when you're meant to use force. Let me handle this. Listen here, we don't have time to play games. Lives are on the line and we need to shut down that signal immediately. Now, either you step aside and let us do what needs to be done, or you leave me with no other choice. No, sir. That's how you do it, Joe. Sometimes you have to take decisive action when diplomacy fails. He's right, Joe. If you had acted sooner, we could have avoided all this unnecessary delay. I didn't want to resort to violence, guys. The man seemed like a decent person, and I didn't want to take his life. But he left me with no choice. You did what you had to do, Joe. You saved lives today, and most importantly, you saved our precious time. That's what matters. He's right, Joe. You acted in the best interest of everyone involved. Sometimes, tough decisions have to be made, even if they're not easy. All right, guys, I pulled off the crazy signal alert. We're good to go. Great job, Sleepy Joe. I always like it when you take responsibility without being told. Is there any other reason why we're still here? Let's just search the whole place and see if there's some Something that can aid our next mission. We can't afford to overlook anything. Agreed, Joe. We need to leave no stone unturned. Who knows what valuable information or resources we might find here. That's right. We can't afford to overlook anything, especially if it could give us an advantage in our next mission. Exactly. And besides, it's always better to be overprepared than underprepared. Let's make sure we leave no room for surprises next time. You're absolutely right, gentlemen. For so long, we've been the heroes, the modern-day Robin Hoods, fighting for justice and righteousness, but sometimes the world doesn't play by those rules. Sometimes you have to take matters into your own hands to secure what's rightfully yours. Damn straight, Joe. We've played the good guys for far too long. It's time to embrace the other side of the coin and claim what's rightfully ours. I understand where you're coming from, Joe, but are we sure about this? Are we really willing to throw away everything we've stood for? I hear you, Barack, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. We've done our fair share of good deeds, and now it's time to look out for ourselves for once. Exactly. We've earned this, gentlemen. And besides, who's to say we can't be both the heroes and the villains? We're the ones writing the rules now. I suppose you have a point, Donald, but let's not forget the risks involved. This won't be like any other mission we've undertaken. That's true, Barack, but with great risk comes great reward, and I, for one, am ready to take that risk. So how do we plan to intercept this train? We can't just waltz in there and expect them to hand over the gold. Agreed. We'll need a strategic approach. My suggestion is that we sneak up on the private security personnel and take them by surprise. I like the sound of that. Sneak in, catch them off guard, and take what's rightfully ours. Exactly. We need to move quickly and efficiently. Once we're in, we need to disable their communication devices to prevent them from calling for backup. And what about the civilians on the train? We can't risk harming innocent people in the process. Don't worry, Barack. We'll make sure the civilians are safe. Our the primary target is the gold. Once we have it secured, we'll make our exit without any casualties. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's get this show on the road. 
All right, gentlemen, it's showtime. Remember, stay low, stay quiet, and stay alert. Remember, our goal is to disable, not to kill. We're not here to add to the body count. Agreed, Barack. But if they give us no choice, we'll do what we have to do to get that gold. Damn right. Ain't nobody gonna stand in our way. We're the baddest sons of guns in town. Let's not get too cocky, Donald. We need to stay focused and work as a team if we want to get out of this alive. Don't worry, Barack. We've got each other's backs. Ain't nothing gonna stop us now. Damn right, Joe. Ain't nobody messing with the three of us. We're like a well-oiled machine, unstoppable. You said it, Donald. They should have known better than to mess with the dream team. That's right, gentlemen. They may have thought they could take us down, but they've got another thing coming. We're the legends of the game. You got that right, Barack. They're probably shaking in their boots right about now, realizing they picked a fight with the wrong trio. Ain't that the truth? They should have known better than to mess with the best of the best. Well, let's show him what we're made of, boys. Time to take down these amateurs and claim our prize. Hold your fire, gentlemen. We need to be careful not to blow our cover. We can't afford to attract any more attention than we already have, especially with the critics breathing down our necks. Joe's got a point, guys. We need to keep a low profile if we want to pull this off without any hiccups. Agreed. The last thing we need is to end up on the front page of every newspaper with headlines screaming about our escapades. Yeah, I can just imagine the mug shots they'll use if we end up in prison stripes will be the laughing stock of the century. Zero age, I can already see the memes circulating on social media. Former president's gone wild coming soon to a theater near you. Let's focus on the task at hand, gentlemen. We can joke around later. Right now, we need to stay focused and finish what we started. All right, gentlemen, looks like we're clear. Let's go get that gold. Hold on, Joe. You go ahead. I'll cover you from here. We need to make sure there are no surprises waiting for us. Good call, Barack. You got it, Joe. I've got your back. Gentlemen, we've hit the jackpot. We've found a treasure chest. All right, boys, we're clear. Let's move in and get that gold. Joe, you go ahead. I'll cover you from here. Thanks, Barack. I'm counting on you. I'm going to burst open this lock. I think I have got the perfect tool for that in my bag. Just the way I like it. Let's show them what we're made of. Great work, Joe. Looks like our little heist paid off after all. Gentlemen, we've hit the jackpot. The gold is ours for the taking. That's what I'm talking about. We're the kings of the world. Don't let us waste any more time, gentlemen. Let's pack up the gold and get out of this place before we attract any unwanted suspicion. Roger that, Barack. I'm already packing up the gold as we speak. We need to move quickly before the authorities catch wind of what's happened here. Let's get out of here while we still can. Biden, we need to act fast. I can hear police sirens in the distance. Yeah, baby, it's about to get even more fun. Sleepy Joe, let's get the f out of here so we can have some more action on our way out. Oh, damn, we need to move, guys. We can't afford to get caught now. Someone must have alerted the police. We've got to get out of here before they arrive. Who the hell would do such a thing? We need to find out who's responsible and make them pay. There's no time to figure that out now, gentlemen. Let's focus on getting out of here in one piece. Biden, you drive. I'll take care of shooting if we encounter any obstacles. Biden, take the route that leads to the rail. No policeman will dare follow us there. That's a good idea. None of them wants to die. Got it, guys. Hang on tight. Remember when we joked about getting caught and ending up in jail? Oh yeah, those were the days. Can you imagine us in those prison jumpsuits? I don't know about you guys, but I'd rock that look. Oh, for sure. We'd be the most stylish inmates in the joint. Damn it, let's take the railway. No cops will follow us there. That's probably the dumbest thing you've ever said, Trump. Now we're facing a fate even worse than getting arrested. We're going to be crushed by a train. Shut your mouth and let me concentrate. Here we go again. Your emotions are getting the best of you. Pull yourself together, man. Let him keep barking like a dog. You're always quick to shift blame onto others. That's not the mark of a good leader. We're all in this together. Show some damn character. I know for sure this isn't the end, and it sure as hell isn't how I'm going to die. So let's pull ourselves together and get out of this mess together. If they keep tailing us on this rail, we might need to confront them head on to ensure a smooth ride when we hit the road. Yes. Either we do this now or we don't make it out of here alive. Let's face these idiots. Pull over here, Joe. Let's give these motherfuckers some nuts. We show them the stuff we are made. Let's do it. You want some of this bullet? I've got plenty for you. Take some, you bastards. All right, guys, we're parked. Get ready to shoot. Joe, I swear only you could lead us into a mission that ends with us facing off against the cops. Yeah, Joe, you've really outdone yourself this time. I thought being president was tough, but leading this mission with you is a whole new level of chaos. Hey, cut me some slack, guys. We knew this was a risky mission from the start. Risky doesn't even begin to cover it, Joe. Just like your time in office, you've led us straight into a mess. He's right, Joe. Your leadership style on this mission is a perfect reflection of how you led America chaotic and disorganized. All right, all right, I get it. But can we save the roasting for later? We've got a shootout to deal with right now. Well, I think we are done here. There is another right behind you, Joe. Yeah, let's get this over with. We can't afford to have these idiots on our trail. We must by all means avoid being caught. Says the man whose big idea is robbing a train. I say we do everything we can to get the hell out of this situation. 
Hang on, guys. We're making our move. Let's get out of here. We take the remaining party to the road. This is what I call an adventure, boys. Who needs the Oval Office when you can have this much excitement? You've got a point there, Donald. I never thought I'd be shooting it out with the cops after leaving office. Well, you know what they say, life after the White House is never dull. You know, despite the risks, I'm glad we took on this mission. It's a nice change of pace from the usual political drama. Agreed. It's been a while since I've felt this alive. It's good to be out here in the thick of it with you guys by my side. Definitely. And hey, at least we'll have one hell of a story to tell once we make it out of this mess. Joe, what the hell are you doing? Slow down. We didn't escape those bullets just to get killed by your reckless driving. Yeah, Joe, ease up on the gas pedal. We're not out of the woods yet, and we won't be if you keep driving like a maniac. Sorry, guys. I just want to get us out of here as fast as possible. But you're right. I need to calm down and focus. Well, you're going to get us killed if you keep driving like this. Take a deep breath, Joe, and remember that we're all in this together. We've dodged bullets, but we won't be so lucky if you crash this car. You're right, guys. I'm sorry for putting us in danger. I'll calm down and drive more carefully. We'll make it out of this, I promise. I strongly suggest we stick to the railway. That way, we'll bypass any pursuit. If we stay on this road, we'll just attract more of them to our tail. Yeah, that's a good call. I'm all for it. We just have to trust Joe's driving to get us past the tracks without colliding with a train. Trust me, guys, we'll make it through. This adventure isn't going to end with our lives. I'll get you all home safe. Barack, you'll see Michelle again. Donald, you still have more tweets to fire off. Trust me. Sleepy Joe, let's get this done. Donald, brace yourself. We're about to go on a wild ride. Let's bring this gold home, guys. Absolutely. Let's do this. Count me in, guys. I'm ready for this unforgettable adventure. Let's go. Seems like old age is making Joe more responsible. Barack, I can't wait to see you catch up in age. Maybe then you'll learn some responsibility, too. Nah, Donald, I'm just determined to get us out of the mess I got us into. Donald, it seems like sometimes your words are as misfired as your tweets. Didn't you say earlier that we're in this together? Why are you trolling me again? Oh, come on, Barack, you need to grow up. I'm just teaching you how to act like a man. Screw you, Donald. I ruled from the Oval Office for eight years, and I did it without you holding my hand. I get things done my way. I don't give a damn about what you say. No wonder your administration had so many issues signing all those crazy bills into law. Guys, we've been through a lot. Now's not the time for shade. Let's focus on getting home, getting to safety. This train will be our shield. Thanks, Joe, for always being the mature one. The world needs more people like you. Can't say the same for Donald. Ha 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 ha. Well, I've spoken the truth. Your opinion doesn't matter to me, Joe. We'll need to abandon this vehicle. Agreed. I've thought about that. We don't want it leading them back to us. Gentlemen, make sure to remove anything that could link you to this crime from the vehicle. Finally, we've gone past this train. It's safe to say we made it already. Yeah, man, we have accomplished already. Thanks to old Joe for getting us home. I hate to say this, America's good in your hand, but it will be better in mine. Uh -huh. I get that. Thanks for the compliment, Donald. Glad I'm able to get us home safe. For a moment, I thought it won't be possible. Really? So even you had doubts that we will make it out alive. Ha 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 ha. And we thought you knew what you were doing. Of course, I know what I was doing. But when you check the odds of surviving the bullet flying around and not getting rammed with the train. Yeah. Let's get out of here now. Damn, I understand you, Sleepy Joe. Thanks anyways. I'm glad I'm able to jump on this adventure with you fellas. You can be a difficult pill to swallow sometimes, but you are very reasonable, at least sometimes. Let's get back to base before anyone notice. We are f***ing rich fellas. Yeah, fellas. I look forward to the next mission with you gentlemen. All right, guys, today's agenda is a little different. We're going on a heist. Yes, you heard me a heist. We're robbing a casino, and I've got Lester, a friend of Michael's. He directed him to me. He's on our side. He's a genius with this kind of stuff, practically a modern-day Robin Hood, except we're keeping the loot. And I mean all of it. A casino heist, Donald? I thought our days of high stakes risks were behind us. But I suppose if we're doing this, we're going all in. What's the plan and how does Lester fit into this grand scheme of ours? Robbing a casino, huh? So where do we start? Do I get to be the charming con man or am I stuck being the getaway driver? Joe, with your driving, we'd end up in the next state before you realize we missed the casino. No, Lester's giving us the inside scoop. He's got everything we need, blueprints, security layouts, you name it. Donald. Just remember, if we get caught, I'm not using my presidential pardon on you too. You're on your own. And here I thought my days of breaking the rules were over when I stopped eating ice cream in the Senate chambers. This is no walk in the park. The Diamond Casino heist is the real deal. It's going to take strategy, teamwork, and a whole lot of brains, which is very limited to you, Joe. Today's not the day for any of your ice cream or Cheetos shenanigans. Hey now, Cheetos might be more your thing, Donald. As for me, I've moved on to something more circular. Donuts, my friend, there's nothing like the shape, those sweet sprinkles and creamy topping. It's poetry in a pastry. Joe, you fool this. This right here is exactly what I'm talking about. We're about to pull off the heist of the century and you're waxing poetic about donuts? All right, let's try to keep our eyes on the prize, gentlemen. Though I have to admit, a good donut does sound tempting. But maybe we save the snack talk for the celebration after we've secured whatever we are stealing today. Exactly. And just so we're clear, the only holes we should be thinking about are the ones in our plan that we need to fill. Let's do this right, and maybe, Joe, I'll personally buy you a donut shop with our winnings. So here's the deal. Lester and I, we've got a secret underground base. 
Been planning this heist with him for a while. This is where the magic happens. Hold on, you're telling me you've been orchestrating a heist behind our backs. And here I thought we had no secrets among us. Relax, Barack. I just wanted to make sure everything was perfectly set up before bringing it to the team. You know, to avoid any unnecessary complications. Shut up, you big fat orange. That's pretty secretive of you, Donald. I guess I'll have to rethink my best friends list. You're on thin ice, buddy. No more sharing my favorite ice cream recipes with you? Oh, come on, you guys, Jill. We will forget all about this once you see what Lester and I have put together. It's top notch, really. You might even want to add me back to that list, Joe. Trust me, this plan is foolproof. Lester's thought of everything. We'll be in and out before they even know what hit him. And if anything goes south, we'll just phrase Lester for everything. Ah, yes, the blame game. Some things never change. But all right, I'm in. Let's see if we can pull this off without starting an international incident. So, Donald, when exactly did you set all of this up? I mean, this is quite the operation you've got going here. Are we sure we're not turning into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here? Because it sure feels like we're heading down to the sewers. Joe, just shut up. We're about to pull off the heist of the century, and you're cracking jokes about cartoons. Focus. Welcome to the heart of the operation, gentlemen. Obama, please have a snap of the board. All right, that board you have captured, it's our Bible. We've got everything from access points to vault contents outlined here. We're about to make some big decisions, folks. So we've already scoped out the main door and the sewer tunnel as entry points. Classic choices. What about the loot? Have we figured out what's actually in the vault? That's where you come in, Barack. We need to get into the casino, take some pictures of the vault's contents. And then there's the approach. Silent, sneaky, the big con, or aggressive. Each has its charm, but I'm leaning towards not getting shot at today. Exactly. The approach dictates everything else. Plus, we've got a list of to-dos and some optional tasks. The more prep work we complete, the smoother this will go. Points of interest and extras could make or break us. Security passes, blueprints, those dug-in shipments. They all sound like they could come in handy. That's why, before we dive deeper, I need you to document everything. It's crucial for our planning phase. Lester just texted minutes ago, the casino's about to close and security's at a low. This is our window. We can go scope it out, get a lay of the land of the casino's insides. Sounds like a plan. And what's our focus while we're there? Yeah, Donald, what's on the agenda for our little reconnaissance mission? Joe, you're on counting duty. I want numbers on cameras, vents, cashier spots, windows, and doors. That info's gold for us. It's a simple task, Joe, just counting. Don't mess. Counting, huh? Guess I'll need to take off my shoes and socks then. Got to use all my fingers and toes. I don't want to know whatever fucking method you will use. I just want results. Barack, you need to find us the fastest way in and out. Time is of the essence. We get in, scope it out, and get out fast. You're on time calculation. And what about you, Donald? While you've got us running and bossing us around, what will your lousy ass be doing? Me? I'm tackling the most challenging task of them all, Joe. Something even beyond your wildest dreams, I'm hacking into the camera systems and feeds. It's a job for a stable genius. And you, your IQ, I don't think it has reached that capability. Hacking, huh? That sounds more like a job for a tech-savvy intern. But hey, if you're feeling adventurous, who are we to stop you? Look around, gentlemen, this is it. No need for a panic attack, Joe. No guards in sight. Lester's texted there's a hot spot he's pinpointed for us to tap into the camera system. Wow, look at this place. It's colorful. Reminds me of a carnival. Though I gotta say, I'm a fan of this purple vibe we've got going on. Joe, my friend, that's definitely blue. Lester's hotspot might as well be in the middle of an ocean with all this around us. Blue, Barack, I might have left my Ray-Bans in the car, but even I can tell that's more purple than the suit Prince wore during the Purple Rain tour. Enough, you two. And for the record, Joe, I think you might be colorblind. You shouldn't even be commenting on colors. Colorblind, huh? Maybe. But at least I know the White House isn't actually white. It's more of an off-white, right? Off-white? Sure, Joe, if that helps you sleep at night. But I still say this casino's as blue as the tie I wore to my inauguration. All right, Picasso and Monet, can we table the art critique until after we're rolling in cash? Lester's waiting and so are the cameras. While you two are busy debating the color wheel, I've been productive. Lester and I have cracked the vault's contents, paintings, gentlemen, and not just any scribbles, these are worth a small fortune. Did you count the cameras and all the stuff I told you? Oh, uh, right, the cameras. Shoot, I got so caught up with Obama here that I forgot to jot it down. Now, now, Joe, no need to accuse me falsely, bro. I've done the math. To get in and out with the paintings, we're looking at precisely 5 minutes and 32 seconds. That's our window to evade detection. This is exactly what I was worried about, Joe. Missions require focus. You can't just forget to count the cameras. It's like forgetting to wear pants to a press conference. Sorry, sorry. Absent-minded, maybe, but not out of the game. Give me a sec. I'll backtrack and count twice to make up for it. Fine, but let's keep it quick. We can't afford any more slip-ups, or we'll be leaving here with nothing but a lifetime in jail, which I don't mind since I have already been convicted for 100 years. So, Donald, have we thought about what we were wearing for this caper? I mean, I've had some fashion missteps, but a heist outfit shouldn't be one of them. Joe, 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 no need for outfits. We're already in disguise. Who's going to suspect past presidents of the United States of pulling off a heist? They'll think we're just lookalikes in masks, not the real deal. That's some solid logic there, though I must say I wouldn't mind a mask of myself. Could be useful for sneaking out of boring fundraisers. 
Well, that's one way to approach it. No one would believe Barack Obama would be sneaking around in a vault. Besides, I've got enough gray hair as it is, don't need a mask to add more. Exactly, it's the perfect cover. We walk in as ourselves, walk out, no one's the wiser. And let's face it, we've been in the public eye enough to know how to blend in or stand out. I'll just make sure to work on my presidential wave. Wouldn't want to give away the game with a subpar salute. Don't forget the look of deep concern for the cameras, Joe. We might have to practice that in the mirror a few times. All right, fellas, it's back to the lair we go. We need to hit the board and figure out exactly what we're going to need to pull this off. It's time to pick our strategy. Agreed. We need to be meticulous. It's all about precision. The right gear, the right approach, it can make or break the operation. Yeah, and I've been thinking about the contingencies. You know, what if we hit a snag? We've got to have a solid plan B and C and D for that matter. You're right, Joe, but that's what makes us the best team for the job. We're prepared for anything. We'll walk through every scenario on that board until we've covered every angle. Let's weigh our options. Silent Sneaky, the big con, or aggressive each has its own risks and rewards. I'm leaning towards the big con. There's something about a good disguise that feels right up our alley like my aviator shades. The big con it might be, I do like the sound of that. Nothing like a good bluff to get the adrenaline going. And of course, I'm all for anything that lets me flex my negotiation skills. We need to be smart, choose the path that'll get us in and out with minimal fuss. Stealthy as a cat, no offense, Joe. None taken, but let's not forget cats get stuck in trees. We need to be more like Navy SEALs, quiet but ready to go loud if necessary. This is the key to our kingdom. The paintings in the vault, those are our golden tickets. Right, we've got access points mapped out main door, side doors, sewer tunnel, and the roof. Preferences? I say we go in through the side doors. Less obvious than the front, but not as dirty as the sewers. Plus, I've had enough underground for one day. Fair point, Joe, but the sewer tunnel has its merits unexpected out of sight. We're not exactly tiptoeing in for a cocktail here. Let's not discount the roof option either. It's less guarded and could give us the high ground advantage. As much as I enjoy a good brawl, I vote against the aggressive route. I prefer a finesse job, silent, sneaky, or the big con. Less messy. Exactly, Joe. Sneaky is good, but the big con has style. We could bluff our way through the whole thing. It's all about the performance. Performance, indeed. While I've done my fair share of public speaking, I can distract and charm if needed. Five minutes and 32 seconds in and out, remember? And look here, we've got some extras to consider. Door security systems, casino models, these could give us an edge. Every little bit helps. We'll need to disable those door locks. And studying the casino model, it's like having the answers before a test. Every detail matters. If we're doing the big con, we need to be actors convincing ones. We should study this model down to the last slot machine. We've got our approach and our target. Now what's left on our to-do list? We need to decide on the hacking device and gather intel on the patrol routes. It's imperative for the silent, sneaky approach. Right, and I notice we've got some optional preps left. The exit disguises could be a lifesaver when things heat up. The exit disguises are non-negotiable. We need them. And Joe, grab those power drills. They're not just for arts and crafts. They're our ticket into the vault. All right, listen in. The equipment is all boxed up and ready for transport and their next shipment out of here. Good news, they've taken the equipment out of storage and it's sitting in a loading bay. Bad news, there are guards. So, uh, go do what you do. All right, you've heard the man. Okay, the equipment's ready for transport. It's our lucky day, everything's packed and waiting in the loading bay. That's great, but what's the catch? There's always a catch. Guards, there are guards, so we'll have to tread carefully. Stealth is key here. Guards, huh? Well, I've charmed tougher crowds than some rent of cops. We've got this. We'll need a solid exit plan. The last thing we need is to get caught playing Grand Theft Auto in real life. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? Former VPS caught stealing van, not the headline I'm looking for. Let's not make headlines then. In and out, like we've done this a thousand times. Remember, if we get into a tight spot, we stick together. No heroics. Right, just another day at the office for us, albeit a slightly illegal one. Keep your eyes peeled and your heads down. We do this right. We're one step closer to payday. Let's make sure we're precise. No unnecessary risks. Got it, Barack. And hey, let's try to enjoy the ride, okay? Enjoy the ride, Joe. That's the spirit. Let's go make some memories. Absolutely. It's all about the details. Every second counts, and every piece of equipment is a cog in the machine. Don't forget the security passes. They're as important as a good running mate. We get caught without them. We might as well turn ourselves in. You're right, Joe. It's like showing up to a debate without your facts straight. Let's get those security passes. We need to execute this flawlessly. One misstep could land us in a world of trouble. Yeah, and I don't fancy our chances in an orange jumpsuit. Doesn't match my eyes. No worries there. We'll have this plan so tight they won't know what hit them. These unmarked weapons and getaway vehicles need to be top notch. And let's not leave anything to chance with the support crew. Got it. I'll make the calls, vet the crew personally. We'll need the best for this job. This is more than just a heist. It's about proving we've still got it. All right, guys, this is it. This is the place here and there's the van. We walk in, take what we need, and anyone who gets in our way, well, they'll wish they hadn't. 
looks like there is only one personnel in the area. You said whoever's in our way, right? Well, it looks like it's your turn to shine, Donald. There's our first obstacle. Clear out that man standing in our way. Without hesitation, Joe, it's just like negotiating, only with a bit more. Direct action. I was born for this. Are we really going to leave the presidential car there? It's like leaving breadcrumbs straight to us. Priority one is losing these cops. Wait, who even alerted them? Could have been the workers. Maybe they heard the commotion, hit the alarm. Whatever happened, we've got to shake these cops first. Let the heat die down. Trump, I hope your driving is as good as your speeches. Smooth, persuasive, and with a strong finish. Trust me, I've got this. Just keep an eye out for any creative shortcuts, Joe. You just worry about the road, Donald. I'm here scanning for any cops that are in close proximity. Donald, you better step on it, man. I didn't sign up for jail time, brother. This isn't part of the retirement plan. Yeah, Joe, relax. The last thing we need is to draw more attention. Trump's got this. Right, Donald? Joe, please, worrying like a little bitch won't help. I'm driving, aren't I? These cops have nothing on Trump's getaway skills. Please stay put and stop blubbering in my ears, bro. Hey, don't tell me to stay put, and don't you dare bring my masculinity into this, or else. Wait until Michelle hears about our little escapade. I'll have to buy her five more islands just to make up for it. Make her the happiest woman in the world? Five islands, huh? Using money like it's going out of fashion. Always the big spender, Barack. Still got that government money spending bug, huh? Even out of office, you can't resist a little splurge. Some habits die hard, you fucking thief. What the fuck? Alive, I ever heard one, Joe, stealing government money. Please, I ran a tight ship and you were right there with me. My trusty vice captain in quotes. You are such a backbiter, man. I shouldn't have sticked right by your side. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Uh, and hey, now I was just the vice guy, your loyal sidekick. I was following your lead, remember? Yuff enough. The past is the past. What matters is the future. And I'm telling you, I'll be back in the president's chair before this year's out. So my opinions, they carry weight. You always just say that. The people love me. And I bet on my sweet ass that the only presidential seat you will be seeing is on your way back home. And who the f put on this channel? Gail was on when we got in, Joe. And for the record, I'm enjoying these Jamaican jams. It adds a little ambiance to our getaway. I don't mind it either, Joe. I get it, you are racist as fuck. It's a good rhythm to outpace the cops, too. Maybe you should let loose a little, do a little dance in the back there. Not racist. It's just that. I don't like the tune that's all. Why the heck are you judging me, bro? Says the guy that went to a black American church and just stood there like a sack of potatoes instead of singing and dancing, at least you could have clapped. You just leave me the fuck alone. Fine, keep your reggae, but when we get out of this, I'm picking the victory too. And then it's gonna be classic rock, just to cleanse the palate. Back to the lair, Joe. We've got a van full of tricks and we need to touch base on the board and see what's left for our grand escapade. And what exactly is the van for? Seems a bit conspicuous for a simple recon job. So this van's going to our support crew. They're the ones who'll set the stage for us, make sure everything at the casino is ready for the main event. Also, it has all the equipments we need for the heist. We got a crew in here. I thought it was just the three musketeers. When do we get to meet this crew? No meet and greets, Joe. They're already working with Lester. They'll do another sweep of the casino, double check everything. Lester, who's this Lester character and where is he hiding? Lester is a friend of Michael and Trevor. You know from our old government of projects, he's a brainiac, which is why I brought him in for the Diamond Casino heist. Smart move. Having a man on the inside could make all the difference. Good thinking, Donald. Lester or Michael and Trevor's brainy pal? Well, I'll be, the world's full of surprises and here I was thinking my presidency was the highlight of my resume. Now let's go over the plan one more time. And then it's showtime. All big leagues indeed. Let's not keep Lester and the crew waiting. They've got their part to play just like us. Speaking of the devil, here is Lester calling. Let us see what he has to say. That was Lester. He says, there are keypads in the casino we missed. Key to the heist, to hack them, we need Fib Tech from their Pillbox Hill building. Hold on, you're telling me we're about to break into the Fib building. That's not just bold. That's certified insanity, Donald. They're the FIB, not some back alley security firm or the home security. Wandering into the FIB den, that's more than a gamble. It's a one-way ticket to the evening nose. And handcuffs? Paranoid, the both of you. It's a simple in and out job. Swipe the gadget and leave. You're acting like we're storming the gates. You are such wimps. It's better to be a wimp than ruining my whole reputation. Just getting out, he says. Trump, it's the FIB. Agents smarter than smart strolling everywhere. And you think they won't recognize us. Quiet, Joe, calm down. We're not going in as ourselves. We'll be more incognito than a fly on the wall. So we sneak in, grab the tech and sneak out. 
And exactly how do you propose we do this, Donald? We can't exactly waltz in there. You leave that to me. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. We'll be like ghosts there and gone before they even realize. Ghosts, huh? More like elephants in a china shop, but fine, I'm in. Let's just make sure we don't end up in a fucking mess. There's the spirit, Joe. And Barack, I know you've got the brains to finesse this, or maybe not. We'll, we'll plan every step. Precision, gentlemen, precision. Gum, let's be meticulous. We'll need airtight alibis, disguises and a solid exit strategy, and most of all, no mistakes. Right, no mistakes. Just a stroll into the FIB office like we're grabbing a cup of coffee. Listen, Barack, we are getting no equipment. We are going just like that. Hey, where is everybody? I was hoping for a bit of a fanfare, maybe some applause. People always love seeing their president, right? Oh boy, I think Joe's Alzheimer is acting up on him. Did you remember to slip him his reality check pills? Donald, I'm not his keeper. And we're not here for a meet and greet. We have a job to do, remember? I'm perfectly fine. Thank you very much. Just trying to lighten the mood. It's a bit eerie with no one around. Ducks are loose again. Going cuckoo on us in the middle of a fucking heist. Enough. We need to be quick. It's too quiet. Lester said there'd be guards. It feels like a setup. Hey, trust me, it's all part of the plan. We stroll in, grab the tech, stroll out coffee shop style, remember? You sure coffee shop style? If the coffee shop was in the twilight zone, a cheer or two wouldn't hurt, though. Here's a thine that hard drive before we start planning our encore. The inauguration ball, Joe? That motherfucking thing gotta be in this room. Yeah, here it is. Wait, it was just a fucking hard disk. Hey, Joe, now what was I saying? And it's, uh, yes, we'll throw you the biggest parade, Joe. Balloons, floats, and all, but only if we get out of here without becoming the evening's breaking news. Agreed. Let's keep moving. The sooner we get out of here, the sooner we can start planning Joe's fantasy parade. Balloons and floats, huh? Don't forget the marching band and ice cream. There's got to be ice cream at my parade. Focus, Joe. The hard drive. That's the only treat we're after today. Come on, guys, step it up. We need to get this hard disk to the layer and speed things up. We have to take care of that guard. If he squawks, we're toast. He alert the others. Yeah, oh, bro, why did you kill him? I demand justice for that young man. You just obliterated him from this lovely earth. I can't talk to you right now, Biden. You need to hit your head or something to get back to normal. Quick, to the car. And look who's ringing, our dear Lester. Hello, Lester, the package is secure. We're en route to the lair with the hard drive. So you've got the hard disk. That's the key to the kingdom right there. Those fingerprint scanners won't stand a chance now. Got it right here. Lester says this is our golden ticket past those pesky scanners. Imagine that, the president's doing a bit of bit. Breaking and exiting more like. And here I thought my biggest break-in was into the healthcare system. Look at us from the White House to the big house, huh? Just don't drop that disk, Donald. It's our get out of jail free card. I never thought I'd be in the thick of it with the presidents. After this, I'll be set. We're talking serious money, gentlemen. Lester, you'll get your cut. There's enough to go around when you're dealing with this caliber of operators. Let's not count our chickens, or in this case, our millions just yet. We still have to play out the rest of this capper. That's right, and when has a Biden ever been on the losing team? Don't answer that. All right, we're almost at the finish line. Let's keep our heads on straight and see this through. Just remember, that disc is more than a tool. It's the blueprint to our success. Keep it safe, keep it secret. You're the man. This disc is our ace in the hole. We messed this up, and it's not just our reputations on the line. It's our freedom. Okay, let's see what's remaining to start the fucking goddamn thing. I am so pumped, Obama. I don't know if you are feeling me. Okay, let's see what's left to kick off this freaking bonanza. I'm so pumped, Obama. Are you feeling this energy? Yeah, baby, I'm ready. We're gonna rake it in. Trillionaires, I'm telling you. What's still on the list, Trump? Do we have everything to launch this mission? Yeah, we've got it all, except for the security passes. But hey, no sweat, we've got the hacker's magic box for those doors. So uh, yeah, I think we're golden to start the heist. And how much do you reckon we're walking away with after this shindig? Donald. My estimates are right, and they usually are. We're looking at a cool $4 million. That's a whole lot of Make America Great Again caps, huh? Four million, whoa, that's a whole lot of ice cream cones. What am I gonna do with all that dough? Don't worry about the cash, Joe, that's my area. I'll handle the distribution of our little fortune. And what about Lester? How much are we sliding his way? He's been the brains behind the brawn here. Or for Lester and his gang, a hundred grand should suffice. But between us, I'd rather keep that in our pockets. We could use it for future endeavors. Yeah, let's pocket that. I mean, Lester's good, but is he $100,000 good? We could start our own charity, the ex-president's fund or something snazzy like that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still need to pull this off, and remember, a good crew is worth their weight in gold. Or in our case, cold, hard cash. 
You've got a point, Barack, but let's cross that bridge when we come to it. First, we complete the mission, then we'll talk about sharing the spoils. Four million bucks, I could buy a new Corvette, a fleet of them, cherry red, just like the good old days. Joe and his Corvettes, just don't go parading down Pennsylvania Avenue and giving our game away. Don't worry about Joe. I'll make sure he spends wisely. Maybe invest in a nice bond or two, right, Joe? Bonds, stocks, or Corvette is as long as we get that four million, I'll be the happiest president you've ever seen. All right, then let's gear up and get moving. Four million is waiting for us, and I don't like to keep money waiting. Our boys, let's get down to business. My mind's racing. We're kicking this off now. Just the three of us? Yes, now. Who else were you expecting the Secret Service? Time's money, and I'm not waiting a second longer. When did you turn into Usain Bolt, Donald? I didn't know you had it in your buddy. Dork's the lure of the almighty dollar, Joe. Even Donald can run a marathon with that kind of motivation. Change of plans, gentlemen. We're going in hot, aggressive approach. You know I'm no coward. So are we doing this or what? Aggressive? I thought we were the excellent but deadly types. Like ninjas in suits, not bulls in a china shop. What's up with you with that bulls in a china shop idiom? It's becoming a cliche, Mon. Upgrade your vocabulary like I care, bro. I just want only the money. That's what I care about. Time to unleash our true colors, boys. This maniacs inside here are gonna know who the fuck I am. We are storming in there and wipes anyone who stands in our way. All right, gentlemen, we know who set us up in the last mission, and it's time for payback, but we can't risk blowing our cover. We need to switch bodies so we can execute this revenge mission without being identified. Agreed, we can't let him see us coming, but how do we do that without giving ourselves away? I've got an idea. We can use this magical gun I've been keeping as a last resort. Hey, can I at least get the body of a young man? Maybe someone in their 30s? Joe, this isn't about becoming immortal or getting a younger body. Yeah, It's about getting that justice we deserve. Exactly, Joe. We can't cheat nature or change who we are. We need to focus on the task at hand. We're not here to live forever, Joe. We're here to make things right. Let's stick to the plan and get the job done. All right, all right, I was just joking. But seriously, this whole body switching thing feels like something out of a science fiction movie. Are we sure it's gonna work? Joe, we're not playing make-believe here. This is real life, and we need to take real action to set things straight. He's right, Joe, we've been pushed around long enough. It's time we take control of the situation and show them we won't be messed with. I get it, I get it, but switching bodies, it just seems, I don't know, too far-fetched. We faced tough challenges before, Joe, and every time we found a way to overcome them. This is no different. All right, I hear you guys, but let's not forget the risks involved. What if we get stuck in each other's bodies permanently? Joe, we're not gonna let that happen. We'll make sure everything goes according to plan. So we've got each other's backs, Joe. We're in this together no matter what. All right, let's do it, but let's make sure we're prepared for whatever comes our way. We can't afford any slip ups. Look, Joe, nobody's getting stuck in another person's body. And even if we did, it might actually be an improvement for you. Your normal body is getting a bit old and frail, isn't it? All right, all right, you guys win. Let's do this. But I still can't shake the feeling that this whole revenge thing is a bit, I don't know, petty. Petty? Joe, we've been betrayed, hunted down like animals. We have every right to seek justice. He's right, Joe. We can't let them get away with what they've done. We need to show them that we're not to be messed with. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just hard for me to shake off that old school mentality of taking the high road. Sometimes, Joe, the high road leads nowhere. Sometimes you have to get down and dirty to get things done. Sometimes seeking revenge is the only way to find closure. We owe it to ourselves to make things right. All right, all right, you guys have made your point. Let's get this revenge mission underway. All right, Barack, I get that you have your sources, but we need to know we're heading in the right direction. How do you know we'll find the location of the culprit? Trust me, Donald, I have my ways. I've got a source that's never let me down before. Who's this source then? Why can't you tell us? I'm sorry. Donald, but I'm not at liberty to expose my source. You know, just like you were discreet about your source when we went to retrieve the Dragon Ball from the depths of the ocean. Fair enough, fair enough. I guess we all have our secrets, huh? Exactly, Donald, we're a team, but we also need to respect each other's boundaries and methods. All right, all right, I'll trust your judgment, Obama. Just make sure this source of yours leads us to the right place. Don't worry, Donald. My source has never failed me before, and I don't intend to start now. Guys, have you noticed how much more energy I have in this new body? I feel like I could take on anything. Well, Joe, enjoy it while it lasts. You'll be back in your old and frail body once this mission is over. Oh, come on, Donald. Can't blame a guy for enjoying a little rejuvenation, can you? Fair enough, Joe, but let's not forget why we're here. We need to make sure this revenge mission packs a punch. Trump's right. We need to send a message that they'll never forget. Exactly. And since we can't be identified in these new bodies, we might as well make the mission a little bloodier than it needs to be. Throw the city into chaos. Make them think there's a new terrorist group in town. I don't know about that, Donald. It might cause panic among the people. 
Joe's right, Donald. Our mission is revenge, not to incite another civil war in the country. Come on, guys. I'm not saying we start a war. I'm just saying we make sure they know we mean business. But what are you so fascinated with chaos and destruction, Donald? Our goal is justice, not mayhem. You know, I have to admit, Donald's idea does have a certain appeal. Not that I'm advocating for chaos or anything, but making them feel the heat might just be what we need to ensure they never cross us again. Hold on, guys. I understand the desire for revenge, but we need to be careful not to escalate things too far. We're walking a fine line here. Brock's right, we can't risk causing unnecessary harm or chaos. Our mission is to seek justice, not to become the very thing we're fighting against. All right, gentlemen, we've arrived at our destination. But before we proceed, I want to take out some of the security to ensure we have a smooth passage. It sounds like a plan, Barack. We can't afford any surprises on our way in. Agreed. We need to minimize the risk as much as possible. Just be careful out there, Barack. But don't worry, Joe. I've done this plenty of times before. I'll make sure to take them out quietly. In fact, sometimes you have to fight fire with fire, Barack. We need to show them that we're not to be messed with. We need to make them fear us. Fear can be a powerful tool, Donald, but it's a dangerous one, too. We need to be careful not to let it consume us. All right, all right, here you guys. But let's not forget, we're not dealing with innocent people here. These are the ones who betrayed us, who tried to take us down. I get that, Donald, but we need to rise above their level. We need to show them that we're better than they are. Joe's right. Our strength lies in our integrity and our ability to uphold justice, even in the face of adversity. All right, gentlemen, remember, our mission is a simple one. Get into the house and take out everyone. I like the sound of that, Barack. Taking out everyone sounds like my kind of mission. Guys, have I mentioned how great this new body feels? I mean, look at me go. Joe, focus. We're in the middle of a firefight here. Yeah, save the body talk for later, Joe. Right now, we need to focus on taking out these guys. Right, right, sorry. But seriously, have you guys tried doing a somersault in your old bodies? It's not easy. Joe, we can talk about somersaults later. Right now, we need to stay focused on the task at hand. Brock's right, Joe. We can't afford any distractions right now. We need to neutralize the threat and complete our mission. All right, all right, I hear you guys, but can you blame me for being excited? This new body is like a whole new lease on life. Joe, I get it, but let's not forget why we're here. We're here to seek justice and make sure these guys never hurt anyone again. And trust me, Joe, there'll be plenty of time to enjoy your new body once we've taken care of business here. All right, fair enough, let's get down to business then. But I'm telling you, once this mission is over, I'm going to do a victory dance like you never seen before. Well, Barack, I have to say I'm a bit disappointed. I was expecting this house to be swarming with security, but it looks like it's deserted. Look at the bright side, guys. At least we've taken out the goons. The number of them doesn't matter as long as we've neutralized the threat. We've made sure they won't be causing any more trouble. No, I know, Joe. But I was hoping for more of a challenge. I thought we were going up against a battalion, not a small size army. I was ready for some action-packed showdown. Hey. It's better to be overprepared than underprepared. We should count ourselves lucky that we were able to handle the situation without too much trouble. It means our training and tactics were effective. Brax right, Donald, we should be grateful that we were able to accomplish our mission with minimal casualties. It could have been much worse if they had reinforcements waiting for us. I suppose you're both right. It's just that I was looking forward to a bit more excitement, you know? I mean, where's the challenge in taking down an empty house? Exactly, Donald. We should celebrate our success and focus on the next steps. We've proven that we're a force to be reckoned with, regardless of the size of our opposition. You're right, guys. I guess I let my expectations get the best of me. We've still accomplished our mission, and that's what matters most. Let's regroup and plan our next move. All right, gentlemen, our mission isn't over until we've finished off the last of them. Once we've taken care of business here, we need to get out of this place and regroup. I'm with you guys. Let's make sure we leave no stone unturned and no enemy left alive. You know, it's moments like these that remind me of why we do what we do. Absolutely, Barack. We have a duty to protect our nation from any threats, foreign or domestic. Couldn't agree more, Donald. We may come from different backgrounds and have different approaches, but we all share the same goal, to keep America safe and free. That's right, Joe. And today we've proven that we're willing to do whatever it takes and to uphold that goal. We face danger head on and emerge victorious. Damn right, Barack. We've shown them that they can't mess with us and get away with it. We're not just presidents. We're warriors fighting for justice. Here, here, Donald. Hold on tight, guys. We need to get out of here fast. 
Barack, slow down. We're not going to accomplish anything if you get us killed before we even have a chance to switch back into our original bodies. I have to admit, I'm not entirely comfortable with this. No one would recognize me as the president of the United States in this body. What if something goes wrong? Oh, come on, Joe. Just a few minutes ago, you were full of praise for your new body. Well, I didn't expect to be driving recklessly through the streets with my life on the line. Donald. Look, guys, I know this isn't ideal. But we need to focus on getting to safety first. Tax right, Joe. We need to keep our heads in the game and stay focused on the task at hand. Okay, okay, you're right. Let's just get through this and then we can figure out how to switch back. Hang on, guys. We're almost there. Just keep it together, Barack. We're counting on you to get us out of this mess in one piece. I just hope we can make it out of here alive. I don't know if I can handle being stuck in this body forever. Don't worry, Joe. We'll get through this together. Just focus on the road ahead and leave the rest to us. Hang on, fellas. We're almost there. Barack, slow down. We're not trying to win a race here. I have to admit, this is a lot more excitement than I bargained for. I was expecting a quiet day at the office, not a high-speed chase through the streets. Well, Joe, you always did say you wanted to shake things up a bit. Looks like you got your wish. Yeah, but I didn't mean like this. I'm starting to think I should have just stayed in bed today. Look, guys, I know this isn't ideal, but we need to keep moving if we want to stay ahead of our pursuers. We'll have plenty of time to rest once we're out of danger. That's right. We can't afford to let our guard down now. We need to stay focused and keep pushing forward until we're out of harm's way. Hold on tight, guys. We need to get out of here fast. Barack, slow down. We're not going to accomplish anything if you get us killed before we even have a chance to switch back into our original bodies. I hear you, Donald, but we need to keep moving. We can't afford to let our pursuers catch up to us. Guys, I'm not sure about this. No one would recognize me as the president of the United States in this body. What if something goes wrong? Oh, come on, Joe. Just a few minutes ago, you were full of praise for your new body. What's changed all of a sudden? Look, guys, I know this isn't ideal, but we need to focus on getting to safety first. We can worry about switching back into our original bodies later. Barrack's right, Joe. We need to keep our heads in the game and stay focused on the task at hand. Okay. Okay. You're right. Let's just get through this, and then we can figure out how to switch back. Hang on, guys. We're almost there. Just keep it together, Barack. We're, we're counting on you to get us out of this mess in one piece. Feels like a weight has been lifted off our shoulders now, that we've shaken off those pursuers. Absolutely, Barak. Knowing that we're no longer being hunted down gives us a sense of freedom to operate without constantly looking over our shoulders. I couldn't agree more, guys. It's been a while since we've been able to go on a mission without the fear of being sold out or betrayed. So those moments like these that remind me why we got into this line of work in the first place. We're here to protect the people and uphold justice without having to constantly worry about our own safety. That's right, Barack. We're here to make a difference to ensure that our country remains safe and secure for all its citizens. And now that we've eliminated the immediate threat, we can focus on our next steps and plan our next move with a clear mind and renewed determination. Exactly, Joe. We can't afford to rest on our laurels. There are still plenty of challenges ahead and we need to be prepared for whatever comes our way. But for now, let's just take a moment to appreciate the fact that we're still alive and kicking. We've overcome countless obstacles together. So gentlemen, what do you think our next mission should be? Do we have anything lined up or are we due for a bit of a break? That wouldn't count on a break just yet, Barack. There's always something brewing out there that requires our expertise and attention. Trump's got a point. We may think we're due for a break, but something will inevitably spring up again that demands our immediate action. I suppose you're both right. It's the nature of our work, after all. We're constantly on the lookout for threats and challenges that need to be addressed. Exactly, Barack. And besides, we've never been ones to shy away from a challenge. We thrive on the adrenaline rush of tackling tough missions and coming out on top. That's true, but even superheroes need a moment to catch their breath every now and then, right? You've got a point, Joe. Maybe we should consider taking a short break before diving into our next mission. It could do us some good to recharge our batteries and come back even stronger. I suppose that's not a bad idea, Barack. A little RGR never hurt anyone. But well, if that's the case, then let's make the most of our downtime while we have it. Who knows when the next crisis will come knocking on our door? Well, gentlemen, we've arrived at our destination. It's time to snap back into reality. At that time, Barack, I don't know how much longer I could handle being stuck in this body. Farewell, my younger self. It's been an interesting experience, but it's time for us to return to our original bodies. Indeed, Joe, it's been quite the adventure. But our work here is done. We need to get back to our rightful selves and continue our mission. Agreed, Barack. Let's not waste any more time. We need to switch back before anyone notices that we're not who we appear to be. Here goes nothing. I hope this works without any complications. Remember, guys, we've been through worse together. We can handle whatever comes our way. It worked. We're back to normal.
Thank goodness for that. I was starting to miss my own body. Back to reality, huh? It's been a wild ride, but I'm glad to be back. Indeed, Joe. And now that we're ourselves again, it's time to get back to work. There's always another mission waiting for us. That's the spirit, Brock. Let's, let's show the world what we're made of. Until next time, my friends, let's make sure we're always ready to answer the call of duty. All right, everyone, let's wrap this up. We've got a lot to do and not much time to do it. Couldn't have said it better myself, Barack. Let's make sure we're prepared for whatever comes next. I'm ready for anything, guys. Bring it on. That's the spirit, Joe. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to stay focused and approach our next mission with caution. Right, then let's get going. Our next mission awaits, and we need to be ready for whatever it throws at us. It's been hard, long weeks without seeing my buddies, fam. I'm not even going to lie. Playing out here on the field all alone doesn't feel like it used to. I cannot wait to welcome them with open arms. I mean, these morons are genuinely stupid, but they seem to be a significant part of me now. <laughs> I guess it's time to catch them just as they step out from those iron bars. Finally into freedom. Where's the godforsaken location again, Error? Where's the map? Where's the shitty map, Mayor? I guess I'm already hallucinating. There's no map. What the heck? That Divin riding on a scooter alone without the convoy with the old boys doesn't feel the same. It all ends today anyway. So uh, yeah, that's uh, a bit of good news. A significant relief if I'll be honest. Then evening at the spa with some thick ass women shoving their bodies down our throats. Hmm, that really doesn't sound like a bad idea or maybe some skydiving like we did several months ago. I think I'm beginning to make preparations like a teenage boy waiting to meet his girlfriend for the first time. Maybe not, but to be honest, I am genuinely happy these old men are out of jail, man. I mean, after Melania's warm kiss this morning, as I stepped out of bed, this would be the second best thing that's happening to me this month and yes, it's that big. I mean, we all can go out there again and overcome missions for our dear viewers on YouTube. Anyway, Hoof, there is really no time to catch up. Okay, I guess it is time for some heavenly, terrific ghost rider racing. It's my last time alone, so I'll probably have to enjoy it to the fullest, too. Zoom, zoom, zoom out of my way. I'd scaling, whistling while driving. Yeah, ha. anyways, this feels good, but maybe it isn't actually the speed. Maybe I just cannot wait to see these patented old fools make funny faces again and enjoy the taste of freedom. Reminds me badly how it felt like when I went behind bars too. Ha, ha. I guess this is just the price you pay when you are the most important person in the United States. Who the heck is the guy? Stop playing with me, man. This road is wide enough for both of us to move past each other without worries. Error, God damn it. This son of a bitch is stepping on my nerves more than I can handle. Not, not today. Today is supposed to be nostalgic while I host my old dementia. Stricken pails back in the hood. Shit. Okay, I think I've had enough of your taunts beyond the disrespect of haggling the road with the President of the United States. You literally want to push me off the cliff. This is madness. Absolute madness. Not high. Okay, I guess karma's catching up quickly with you then. And at this point, I really do not care anymore. Biden, Obama, Rama, I will catch you both in a minute. Let me return this kid who found himself lucky to own a rickety jalopy to his long dead mama. It's either karma does it or I do it myself. Hey, ha. Not he's won that impotent karma, but I bet you cannot survive this. Hey, godforsaken piece of shit. Say hello to Gerald Ford and John F. Kennedy in hell. Hoof. That was a good shot, man. Waste of bullets, by the way. But talking of bullets, I guess I would ultimately cancel whatever treats I have in mind. I simply dedicate today to fucking up everyone who messed with my old friends and led them to prison. Someone has to pay after all. Anyway, first, I need to catch up with them before they lose the little patience they have inside of them. <laughs> I wonder what Bushy's head would look like right now. Oh, goodness, how the heck did he even cope with his medications? Or was he placed in the home of special needs? Nah, man, I need detailed explanations from that figurehead right after I pick him up. It's about to be a long day. Oh, oh. Where the heck have you been? Honestly, at some point, I was beginning to believe you have also messed us up, just like everyone else has done. Hey, oh, sleepy, slimy Joe Biden. Wagwan Obama-rama, the killer of Ozama. Why are you all looking like morons who just chat on themselves and scared to stand from their seats? Nothing is funny. Old potato. Just get us the hell out of here already. Hey, hey, hold on. No one is going home yet, man. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not in for jokes this sunny afternoon, Trumpy Grumpy. Laura really cannot wait to have me back in her arms. So just jump into this van and drive us to safety. I really need to get deeply washed, too. And maybe snort on some Colombian white powder. You must have missed that and hoped for it like your life depended solely on that piece of shit that does nothing but drive you closer to your early grave. Stop fooling around, old man. If she really could not wait, 
she would be the one picking us up and not this overripe mango seated in the driver's seat. Beyond everything else, I am excited you acknowledge I am the only one who loves you guys and I am doing your stupid ass good, giving you honorable rides home. Anyway, what's the plan? That's right. Are you guys really gonna let things slide and not go after the guys who set you up and sent you to jail? I mean, I expect you all to be brave and strong-willed. What happened in prison that turned the both of you, especially you, Robot Obama, into jellyfish? I think Trumpy has a point. I've had the same thoughts since, too. You gotta always have a point, dumbass. Also, there is no waiting again. Yep, picking up the first son of a thousand fathers who began this drama. You've already had this well planned out before coming out here to pick us. Right, because nothing explains why you already know the exact location of this guy and have been driving across the street all day to find him. I strongly believe we wouldn't achieve anything if we are still against each other, we should have a common goal. And that is to punish those who punish my old buddies. If anyone is against this, the coward should simply return to his shaky wife, whom he is no longer proud to step out with anymore. F you, you pervert. Maybe f you too. Well, not you. God forbid me to be gay. Now we are closer now than ever need to get our asses to work. Full concentration mode, absolutely. Told Joe, you and concentration should never be placed in the same sentence. It's an ugly oxymoron. Whatever makes you two sleep well at night. Do we miss this agent? Is that the same guy we have been trailing since the last minute? You guys have a clearer vision than I do because you are simply closer. I should be asking these questions, not you. No one runs when not being pursued. That alone tells us everything we need to know. To be honest, I think my old age is failing me and I cannot exactly remember the face of that supposedly all-knowing agent who caught us. But this guy right here won't run for nothing. He's the culprit. That's a good argument. Pretty smart for someone struggling with dementia. Speaking of dementia, how did you survive without your meds in prison? Can we not talk about that now? Otherwise, we'll risk losing sight of the target. If we are really interested in this revenge mission, then that should be our priority this minute. Stop sounding like a serious individual. If you were that serious and smart, the United States wouldn't be in shambles as it is now. Not even just a few months before the next election. While you were busy fooling, we have grabbed the nerdy moron. We can now move on with your fooling, almighty grumpy Trumpy. So where are we headed and what are we doing with this agent? How about we smoke his ass and serve it on a platter for you, two hungry prisoners to feast on. One, we are no longer prisoners. And as a respect of closure and gift of association, you really shouldn't be tagging us that anymore. Two, when did we suddenly become cannibals? Do you actually have an idea how the prison system in the United States of America works? I mean, I am not glorifying crime, but many prisoners actually live better than millions of people out there especially when we analyze some third world countries. I am becoming really worried about what actually happened in prison. Obama Rama, was ice cream shoved up your asshole too? I hear that's very popular nowadays. That's cringy as f Can we stop digressing and get our thoughts and game plan right? Because we spent a few moments behind bars. It shouldn't impact how smooth our operations used to be. Let's not forget that. This is a perfect example. How on earth did we end up at this dead end? One more minute here and the cops will round us up. Iraqi, I guess we may never get to see our wives before we are thrown back into where we came from. Stop being a coward idiot, old man. What the f you are talking about? These guys are no match. I have a bit of conspiracy, guys. What if Donald's plan is to ensure we aren't granted freedom? What if he has held our wives hostage and wouldn't want us to know how much harm he has caused while we were away. There are more than 300 million women on planet Earth. A better percentage of these women are some of the most beautiful creatures you can ever see. Several millions of them are scattered across the United States. But guess what? This blockhead, poorly programmed robot believes I will trade all of that for some old, overly piped women who are far past menopause. Nah, spare me that gibberish, man. This doesn't always make sense until it becomes a reality. I've seen this script before, I swear. Maybe it's time to get another pair of recommended glasses. You have probably been seen wrongly. When you two are done fooling, you will turn your focus on the police chase closing up on us. We might run out of luck very soon. Nothing to worry about. We are almost there. Where? I asked earlier and I'm asking again, what the f are we doing with this poor agent? Poor agent? I guess dementia is kicking in again and man needs to catch some sleep to get back to normal. Now, this is what we are talking about. Some sleek, acrobatic driving with the boys. Hmm, here we go. This reminds me of the days when I used to hang at the trunk of our trucks. Somehow, some way, I'm craving to return to that and enjoy the experience all of over again. I mean, look at Trumpy having all the fun, reliving what it feels like to grab the steering by its throat again. Not to mention Biden, 
who is obviously returning to his popular cowardice. I'd happy to make a point someday without dragging me in the mud. And no, I am not being a pussy here. I just want us to be clear on what to do so we act accordingly and move on with our day. Old Joe, ransom from who? Are you not the president? I bet that would look like a grand money laundry scheme. A president acting as a gangster to request ransom from the president. This even sounds like a Hollywood movie written and produced by a wannabe scriptwriter. Opinions aren't that bad to give. You are better than those who decided to keep their mouths shut. Any anyway, white boys, we are here. Time for the showdown. Showdown. That sounds like something more than we bargained for. It seems Trumpy is taking this more personally than we have imagined. This one is for our beloved viewers, whom we robbed the joy of watching us complete missions because you two bloody idiots got caught and jailed. We are sending him to heaven? Mm. Well, let's say yes, and I am doing so right away. Ho, ho, I just did. Maybe hell, by the way. Overly zealous bastards like them aren't heaven candidates. I know this for sure. Isn't that too many bullets for one person? You took that straight out of my mouth. Trumpy, grumpy, bully of the decade. That's enough, I guess. So how and where do we dispose of the body? When do we begin to dispose of bodies? I'm lost. Is that dementia talking? Maybe you need rest. <laughs> I'm blowing them up with the van, man. That eliminates every trace. Simple logic. Now I'm wondering who the real war apologist is. Anyways, good one right there, and good riddance to bad rubbish. Now we can finally get the closure and rest we deserve. Yeah? Somehow, that's some pretty good relief. I never believed this was much needed. Haha, <laughs> guys, surely you both are idiots. But trust me, I always have your back. I needed to teach this one a lesson anyway. Some good punches right there. Next time, he'll learn to disappear from scenes where we are performing magic. After the first punch from that guy, I almost thought Grumpy Trump was seeing stars already and wouldn't return to his feet. Not everyone is a pussy like you, old Biden. I've still got those punches, especially when they matter the most. Well, now a new van. Who are you dropping first, Trumpy? Don't you think our mission here isn't done yet? I mean, what about the other brother who prosecuted you? Doesn't he deserve to be taught some lessons before we eventually uh, call it a day? Now that is a total payback. Safe to say it is the revenge of the year so far. If you both think that's the right thing to do, then I'm in on it too. There's no time to second guess, really. However, don't you think taking out two very important people attached to our cases on the same day, we left jail wouldn't make us prime suspects? Whether we take down one or two of them or none of them at all, we are still prime suspects. So what's the point? Moreover, we aren't killing this one. Just a bit of a lesson. So he minds his goddamn business in the future. Who are these guys, man? Yeah, Trumpy, you are the strongest of the three of us right now. We need those punches to come in handy. <laughs> I don't need your speech, old man. These ones are fries. You can see how good I'm performing already. These guys might be our distraction, by the way. We have our target to catch up with. Let's wrap it up here and move ahead with the real deal. Now, these kids need to be taught lessons. Haha, <laughs> I delivered that at the right time and in the right spot. I probably should have considered boxing professionally as a young adult. I just wouldn't have gotten as much power, influence, and even money as I do now. Well, finish up real quick and return to the driver's seat. I am now very interested in what the punishment for this guy would be. He was ruthless when he judged us in court. I hope we'll be equally ruthless as we judge him on the street. But no death and gunshots, though. Hey, there is one left. Who the fuck is this almost disappearing, poorly fed guy? You need me to empty my cartridges on you or you will save yourself from the god of death. What's the plan, guys? I really want to hold someone hostage. No ransom, just days of unending torture, making him feel a hundred times how it feels like to be in the deadliest prison in the world. Then we can release him to taste what freedom looks like again and see if he'll not be a changed person. <laughs> that sounds pretty good and satisfying. But wouldn't that make the police be on our tail? I have said this time and time again, we do not need to worry about the cops. The most they can do is send us behind bars. Guess who has been there already? The three musketeers. What are you doing, Trump? Struggling to park the van properly. You really cannot understand, do you? I'm simply buying time. Your prosecutor would be out here in no time. Time, and we wouldn't want to pose as if we were constituting a nuisance. See this guy shaking like a jellyfish. Ha ha ha. Reminds me of when Biden used to be a chronic coward when we first started this channel. Mm. Poor guy, now I'm beginning to feel for him. Well, you can shove your stupid pity party down your ass while we focus on our plan. I really don't give a shit about whatever anyone feels right now. I'm getting even more pissed the more I look him in the eye. Have you considered spitting in his face? No, first that is gross. Secondly, his body is too filthy to accommodate my spit. Oh, we are heading back to the hideout, yeah? Without a doubt, we may need to call them back up to help safeguard the space if any one of us wants to return home to freshen it at some point. Why the f is he crying? Just by looking at him? Wait, what? He's escaping? 
Guess who orchestrated his death with his own hands? I lost how the fuck would you think escaping is the best thing to do at this point, not even negotiating your way out. Ask other guy just decided to waste his life too. Why was he screaming and dialing his phone? Multiple bullets on a dead man. He had to eliminate any chance of his survival. We need to be double sure? I know, right? Double sure. So guys, I think we can now call it a day. I'm glad to have you both back. Same here. Same here. Subscribe, guys. Today ain't about war, fellas. It's about merrymaking. You sure about that, Joe? Things can escalate real quick. Oh, come on, Barack. You're not some kind of fortune teller. Who are you to predict what's gonna happen? Looks like trouble's brewing. We need to move now. Well, I'll be damned. Guess today's merrymaking just took an unexpected turn. Told you something might come up, Joe. It is difficult to have a 24-hour peace without getting interrupted in between. Yeah, yeah, you're a real psychic Obama. Can we focus on getting out of here in one piece? Let's move, gentlemen. We need to get out of here before things get even more out of hand. Damn right, Barack. I didn't sign up for this tonight. Any idea what sparked this mess? Could be anything. Gang turf war, political vendetta, who knows? All I know is we need to stay safe and get back to the White House absent. Looks like the Secret Service is scrambling to contain the situation. We don't want to take this fight to the White House. Let's engage these motherfuckers and get over it. We should find higher ground in a tower for better visibility and protection. We need to assess the situation from above. I'm on board with that, Joe. Returning to the White House now would only drag this trouble along with us. What's the motive behind this violence? What are they after? How should we know? They initiated the violence, making them terrorists. We don't negotiate with terrorists. We eliminate them. Anyone else notice how one problem leads to another ever since we retrieved the Dragon Ball from the ocean depths? Sleepy Joe's got a point. It makes you wonder who blew our cover after the gold heist that landed us in prison. Someone clearly wants us out of the picture. But who could it be? We followed protocol every step of the way. Where did we slip up? I think there are factions within the government vying for control of the Dragon Balls. It's starting to make sense now. The false alert we received after that mission was a diversion meant to intercept us. This is why I prefer being the tough guy. Nobody messes with a tough guy. If I were still president, these losers wouldn't dare. I hear you, Donald. But before we pat ourselves on the back any further, let's focus on getting out of here safely. That's the only way we'll uncover what went wrong. The numbers are increasing. Despite our efforts, it's like they're relentless. There's definitely someone with serious resources behind this, but uh, what have we done to deserve a military-style attack like this? Maybe it's something from our past coming back to haunt us, or maybe it's related to those missions we've been on recently. Whatever it is, we need to focus on surviving this onslaught first. Then we can figure out who's behind it and why they're so determined to take us down. Agreed. Let's keep fighting and get out of here alive. We'll deal with the rest later. For all this infuriating, just when we thought we could catch a break, these bastards come crashing in. Can't even enjoy a peaceful moment without someone trying to ruin it. They're gonna regret messing with us. We'll make sure of that. How many more of these guys are there? It's like they're endless. We need to find a way out of here fast. Staying put isn't gonna cut it. The more we take down, the more they swarm in. We've gotta find a way out fast. Back, what's up with your aim? You've been off target since this mess started. Donald, now's not the time for sarcasm. Our lives are on the line here. Show some respect. Guys, we're facing a damn army that won't quit until we're either dead or captured. This isn't the time for bickering. Joe, ease up. I'm just making an observation. Barack, maybe focus a bit more on hitting your mark. Give me a break. I've been doing my best to keep us alive here. And you, Donald, all you do is talk. When are you going to step up and take some responsibility? Or Barack, I'm not saying it to taunt you. I genuinely want you to step up and be the best you can be. Donald, your concern is touching, but your delivery could use some work. Enough, gentlemen. We need to keep moving. We can't hold them off from here. Let's get out of here now. But didn't we agree not to lead them back to the White House? Where are we heading? We're not staying here to find out. We need to keep moving to stay alive. Joe's right. We have a better chance on the move than if we're cornered here. Let's go. All right, Barack, you've got a point. Let's get moving. But who's driving? I'll take the wheel. You can trust my driving skills in situations like this. Let's roll, guys. Uh, Joe, just don't fall asleep at the wheel and try not to crash us. I'll be in the back, taking care of any losers on our tail. Barack, stay alert. Always the delegator, aren't you? But I have more faith in Joe's driving skills than your combat abilities. Let's get moving, guys. You stay sharp, everyone. Expect more surprises from our attackers. I'll do my best to ram them with the car as we go. Just don't end up crashing us while you're at it. Let us handle the attackers. Agreed, Joe. Focus on driving. We'll handle the rest. Let's go. They're closing in on us fast. We need to move now. Agreed, Joe. We're right behind you. 
Let's get out of here, guys. This street's turning into a damn war zone. The media is going to have a field day. Any guesses on the headline? Probably something like us presidents, because massacre on the streets of Washington, D.C. And just like that, we're back in the criminal spotlight. But we're not criminals. All we've done is protect the American people. Why would anyone want us taken down like this? Maybe it's someone from Donald's past as president. He had his share of enemies back then, but why drag us into it? That's a possibility. We're a team now so his enemies could see us as fair game. Hold on, why are you driving like you're Hyde or something? And for the record, I've dealt with my past enemies. I've moved on. Some demons can't be ignored, Donald. You have to face them head on. Whoever's behind this, it's not because of my past. Let's focus on getting out of here. I'm not convinced. Your past actions speak volumes. Being diplomatic is crucial for a leader. It's about making everyone feel included regardless of their background or beliefs. Diplomacy doesn't mean condoning everything. There are lines that shouldn't be crossed. Mark my words, the world's heading towards disaster if we keep allowing everything. Pedophiles demanding rights will be next, and our children won't be safe. Conclusion is about creating a society where everyone feels valued. That's why I supported same-sex rights. We have to move forward together as a nation. We're different people, Barack. I won't apologize for who I am. And Joe, if you drive better, maybe we'll survive long enough to find out who's behind all this. And why does it have to be someone else responsible for this chaos? Why can't it be either of you two? Hold on, Donald. Are you seriously suggesting that either Barack or I had something to do with this? Oh, please, Donald. Let's not forget the mess you left behind. With your divisive rhetoric and reckless policies, the rise in hate crimes, the erosion of trust in government. Sound familiar? Fine, let's dig deeper then. Barack, remember Benghazi. The mishandling of that situation was a stain on your presidency. Benghazi was a tragedy, Donald, but it's disingenuous to lay the blame solely at my feet. And let's not forget your own mishaps, like the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking of mishaps, Donald, how about your numerous bankruptcies and failed business ventures? Not exactly the mark of a successful leader. You may not have your business acumen, Donald, but I've dedicated my life to public service, fighting for the American people. And while we're airing grievances, let's talk about your personal life choices, Donald. Multiple marriages, scandals, bankruptcies, hardly the model of moral integrity. My personal life is my own business, Barack, but at least I didn't apologize for every decision I made in office, like you did. All right, let's get this vehicle swapped out. And Joe, try not to crash this one like you did the last one. We might not be so lucky to stumble upon another auto repair shop. Hey, accidents happen, Donald, but don't worry, I'll be extra careful this time. Let's just get back on the road as soon as possible. We can't afford any more delays or mishaps. So, Joe, do you even know how to operate this new car? Or should I take over because it doesn't look like you know what you're doing with it? Don't underestimate me, Donald. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just testing out a few things. Let's not waste any time here, gentlemen. We need to get back on the road before our pursuers catch up to us. Guys, I think we should use the rail. It'll help throw off our pursuers. Are you serious, Joe? You almost got us killed the last time we used the rail. That was a different situation, Donald. Trust me, this time it'll work. I'm not so sure about this, Joe. Using the rail could be risky. We don't have time to debate, Barack. I'm already on the rail. Joe, I really hope you know what you were doing this time. Don't fucking get us killed. Oh, get off that rail right now. This is too dangerous. Relax, Donald. I've got this under control. The rail is our best bet to escape. All right, enough of this rail nonsense. Let's get out of the vehicle and face whoever's intercepting us head on. Looks like it's showtime, fellas. Let's show them why we are called Brothers of Doom. Just like old times, huh? Yeah, except this time I'm not the one making all the noise. Hey, at least I'm hitting my targets, unlike someone I know. Careful, Joe. You might want to focus on the enemy, not your jokes. Well, that was a close call, but we made it out in one piece. Yeah, thanks to my expert driving and sharpshooting skills. Let's not forget, we're a team. We all played a part in getting out of there. Sure, sure, but uh, let's be real. Without my leadership, we'd be toast. Oh, here we go again with the ego trip. Can we just focus on getting to safety? We're not out of the woods yet. Always the buzzkill, Barack. Lighten up a bit. Easy for you to say, Donald, you're not the one driving. True, but at least I'm not the one who crashed the last vehicle. Hey, accidents happen, okay? Let's just keep moving forward and stay vigilant. We can joke around later. All right, Joe, no crashing this time, got it? You got it, Donald. And speaking of crash landings, I've been thinking about what I'd like to do the person behind all this. Oh yeah, what's on your mind, Joe? We want to peel their skin off layer by layer and make them suffer endlessly for what they've put us through. Well there, Joe, let's focus on staying alive so we can seek justice. Besides, we need you to drive properly. 
Yeah, you're right, Barack. Revenge can wait for now. Let's just focus on getting to safety. Agreed. And Joe, keep your eyes on the road this time. We've got a long way to go. Don't worry, Donald. I've got my eyes peeled and my hands steady on the wheel. No more crashes on my watch. That's what I like to hear, Joe. And when we finally catch whoever's behind this, I'll make sure they pay for every second of our suffering. Let's not lose sight of who we are in the process, gentlemen. We're leaders, not executioners. Justice, not vengeance, should be our goal. I hear you, Brock, but after everything we've been through, it's hard not to feel a little vindictive. Get that the truth, but Barack's right. We'll let the law handle it once we're safe and sound. Agreed. For now, let's focus on getting to safety. The rest can wait. Joe, I thought we agreed you'd drive more carefully this time. Why are you still being reckless? Hey, I'm doing my best here. We need to move fast to stay ahead of our pursuers. Joe, I understand the urgency, but we won't make it if you keep driving like a maniac. Slow down and stay focused. Relax, Barack. I've got this under control. Yeah, it's not. If you don't shape up, Joe, I'll take over the wheel myself. All right, all right. I'll ease up a bit, but we need to keep moving. Seriously, Joe, your reckless driving is putting us all at risk. Slow down before you get us all killed. Come on, Donald, cut me some slack. I'm just trying to get us out of here in one piece. These motherfuckers won't let us go in peace. Joe, listen to reason. We're not going to make it if you keep taking unnecessary risks. Let's get rid of these suckers and get out of here. I hear you, Barack. I'll dial it back a notch. You better. I didn't survive all those business deals just to die in a car crash with you at the wheel. Donald, keep your eye on the target and get your aim right. Don't worry, Donald. I won't let that happen. Fight and watch where you're shooting. You're tearing up the whole street. And sorry, Donald, but we've got to fend them off somehow. This machine gun's the only thing keeping them at bay. Just try to aim more carefully, Joe. We don't want any innocent bystanders caught in the crossfire. I'm doing my best here, Brock, but these guys aren't making it easy. Keep it together, Joe. We'll make it out of this alive if we stick together. You got it, Donald. I won't let them take us down without a fight. Damn it. They just keep coming. We need to find a way out of this mess. I'm trying, but they're relentless. We need to keep them pinned down if we want to make a break for it. We can't stay here forever. We need to come up with a plan to flank them and escape. I'll provide cover fire while you guys find a way out. Just give me the signal. Right, Joe, but be careful. We don't want to draw any more attention to ourselves. Don't worry, Donald. I've got this under control. Joe, why are we stopping for just one person? We need to keep moving. Trust me, Donald, this guy is no innocent bystander. He's been feeding information to our attackers. He's part of the problem. Are you sure about this, Joe? We can't afford to make any mistakes. Positive, Barack. I've seen this guy before. He's been tailing us for miles. Well, what are you waiting for, Joe? Take him out before he can do any more damage. As they drove away from the scene, the tension inside the car was palpable. Each president lost in their own thoughts. Well, that was a close call, but we handled it like the leaders we are. Yeah, but we can't let our guard down just yet. There could be more surprises waiting for us up ahead. Agreed, Joe. We need to stay vigilant until we're completely out of danger. We're not out of the woods yet, but I have faith in our ability to navigate through this. Something doesn't feel right about this place. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. Agreed, Donald. Let's fuel up quickly and get out of here. We need to be cautious. Our attackers could be anywhere. Damn it. They found us again. We need to move now. We need to come up with a plan to shake them off our trail once and for all. We can't keep running forever. We need to confront them head on. I say we lead them into a trap. Turn the tables on them. Running indefinitely isn't a viable strategy. We need to come up with something more strategic. Are you suggesting we confront them head on? That could end badly for us. How about we run as fast as we can and then find a secluded spot, a place where they wouldn't think to look, a place that's, well, unconventional. Joe, spill it. You sound like you've got a place in mind. All right, hear me out. What if we find refuge in a strip club? Actually, it's not a bad idea. We could blend in and lay low. But what if our pursuers follow us there and cause trouble? Then we'll be ready to handle them. We need to stay vigilant even when we reach our hideout. <laughs> While we blend in, we must also be prepared for any potential threats. Joe, is this really how we're going to shake off our attackers? I hear you, Barack, but with all these delays and obstacles, it's hard to make a clean getaway. We can't afford any more setbacks. We need to stay focused and keep moving forward. Agreed, Donald. Let's push through this and find a way to lose them for good. I got an idea. What if we split up temporarily? We can regroup later once we're sure we've thrown them off our trail. That could work, Joe. It'll make it harder for them to track all of us at once. All right, let's do it. But we need to be careful and stay in communication. We can't risk losing each other out there. Oh, shit. This is not the right way. The club is on the other side. We have to turn around. Joe, how on earth did you know? There's a strip club in this area? Yeah, Joe, you seem to have some insider knowledge about the local entertainment scene. Care to share? Come on, guys, focus. We need to get to safety. 
Well, I see what's going on here. Joe doesn't want to die because he's afraid he'll miss out on seeing some nice titties. Really, Joe? You're thinking about strip clubs at a time like this. Look, I just happen to know about it, okay? Let's not make a big deal out of it. All right, everyone, we've arrived. Remember what we talked about earlier. Let's keep a low profile. Absolutely, discreet is the name of the game. But hey, while we're here, we might as well enjoy ourselves, right? I'll take two of the finest ladies with the best boobs. Donald, we're here to lay low, not to indulge in distractions. Exactly. We need to stay focused on our safety and the mission at hand. We can't afford in slip-ups now. We're not going to sit here and let them lock us away like common criminals. Damn right, we didn't serve our country just to end up behind bars. They think they can keep us in here? They've got another thing coming. That's it. I've had enough of this nonsense. I'm going to hack the system and set us free. You should know we're not getting out of this place without a fight. Are you up for that? Seriously ready for the challenge? Absolutely. I'm not going to just sit here and let these guards lock me away like I'm nobody. Who knows what they have planned for us? You're right, Barack. We might end up in court. No one will remember how many times we risked our lives to save the day. Then let's do whatever it takes to get the hell out of this dump. I'm not going to let these fools insult us any longer. I'm getting out of this place. I don't care if I have to burn it to the ground to do so. However you want to handle it, just know I've got your back. If it involves a little violence, count me in. Let's do this. All right, guys, let's show them they messed with the wrong crew. I can see a guard standing at the next gate from here. He'll be the first to go down. Hey, Barack, you got your weapons on you? It's about to go down. This prison break is going to be legendary. I've never been more ready for a mission than I am now. Our previous missions were always about saving others, but now we're saving ourselves. So who's going to take out the guard at the next gate? He's mine. I'll take him down. Just follow my lead, guys. I'm pumped for this mission. All right, once we take down that guard, we need to figure out how to dissolve the security inside the prison to guarantee our escape. For God's sake, Barrack, that man is dead. Dot. I say we split up and cause chaos in different sections. That'll keep him busy and give us a better chance of slipping away unnoticed. Agreed. We'll need to move quickly and quietly. Let's stick to the plan and stay focused on our objective getting out of here. You know what? Forget about being quiet or strategic. Let's just tear this place apart and make a run for it. I'm tired of playing it safe. If we get caught, we get caught but I'm not spending another minute in this hellhole. Sounds good to me. Whatever it is that will get us out of here, I'm down for it. Let's do this. We need to make sure that the impact of our actions is felt long after today. This place shouldn't be the same once we're through with it. Joe, what's gotten into your boy? I think humiliating him on the concrete floor of the prison brought out the man in him. He's been barking orders ever since. What exactly are you expecting from this young man, Donald? He acts like a coward. You complain now that he's taking responsibility. You still seem unsatisfied. That's typical of a Democrat. You guys are so unpredictable. But I must admit, I like the new Barack we're seeing. I hope his energy doesn't wane. Then shut the hell up and let the young man breathe. From all indications, he's been more useful than you in this mission. Well, his fellow compatriot got us into this mess in the first place. Barack is just trying to clean up the mess that you made. Barak, quit bickering. I can see three guards from where I'm standing. I'm going to take them down. If you want to be taken seriously, make yourself useful for this mission. Let's go, guys. Let's unleash hell upon them. This is what we do. We are the brothers of doom and destruction. They should know better than to mess with us. Barack, your marksmanship has significantly improved, just like your willingness to take responsibility. In perilous situations, bold actions are necessary. He needs to elevate his performance for this mission. There's a sizable number of them here. I intend to bring this establishment to its knees. Our jailbreak should dominate the headlines in the days to come. What kind of headlines? I hope we won't end up caught again and incarcerated in a more secure facility. We don't need to make a statement with our escape. Let's simply depart discreetly. Damn it, are you trying to incinerate this place and us along with it? Yes, I aim to reduce this place to rubble. It's the only way I'll be satisfied with our escape. They've humiliated us greatly. They must pay for it. If we proceed this way, the authorities won't simply let us walk away. Who the hell is the authority? We are the authority. We've been safeguarding this country to the best of my knowledge. Every time we risk our lives for her, we're treated like criminals. They deserve whatever consequences come from us now. Let's prepare for a confrontation with the police once we're outside. They won't let us leave without a fight. We'll be ready for them. As long as Barack retains this determination, we're unbeatable. I'm liking this side of Barack, the fearless one. In a hostile situation, we must respond with assertiveness. We need to take decisive action to ensure our survival. By the way, Joe, I hope the gold is secure. That's a valid concern, Barack. That's precisely why we're here. I sincerely hope nothing has happened to it. Joe's track record with treasures isn't exactly reassuring. Donald, enough. We were all arrested together. You saw me safeguard the gold, and I haven't left its side since. I share your hope that it remains safe. Otherwise, our efforts would be in vain. Spare me, Joe. How do we know this isn't a setup for you to keep the gold for yourself? I don't fully trust you. You seem too ambitious. How could I possibly pull that off while locked up with you? It's absurd. You should be at home with your grandkids, not here. Your ambition drove you to run for president again, and now look where it's gotten us. I don't trust you entirely.
Let's just hope the gold is intact when we leave. It's the only reward for all this stress. It better be. Sleepy Joe claims he's kept it safe. I want to believe him. Right now, I don't need any distractions from our mission. This is as important to me as it is to you. I won't jeopardize our efforts. Trust me on this. Let's focus on getting out of here. Here's the plan. We'll create chaos, provoke the police, and be ready for a shootout when we leave. Let's demolish everything here first. Agreed. This prison shouldn't hold anyone again, especially not three former U.S. presidents. This will be its final chapter. Let's do it, guys. I just want success and to avoid ending up back behind bars. Let's get this over with. What if we get out and find out Joe's been impeached? So what if another Democrat wins? It doesn't matter. It has to be Joe. So it's all about yourselves, not America's greatness. We're human, Donald. We're allowed to have desires and ambitions. At the expense of America? That woman is dead already. Have you gone completely nuts? What do you mean? Are you saying America hasn't thrived under Joe's leadership? And please, I have to make sure whoever is dead remains dead. I don't want them coming to life to testify. I'm not convinced America has thrived under Joe. Look at the mess we're in right now. That's your opinion, Donald. Many would argue otherwise. Regardless of your opinions, our focus should be on getting out of here and ensuring the safety of the nation. Safety? With Joe at the helm? I'm not so sure. We've faced challenges before, and we've overcome them. Let's not lose sight of our goal. Agreed. Our priority right now is to execute our plan and emerge from this situation unscathed. Fine, let's focus on the task at hand. But mark my words, Joe, America's future hangs in the balance, and I'm not convinced you're the one to secure it. Time will tell, Donald. Let's deal with the present moment first. Are you saying we can actually be caught again and charged to court? If there's anything I have come to terms with is never say never. Anything can happen under the sun. So we have to be prepared for such cases. So when we kill, we want to ensure they remain dead. If there are no witnesses to testify in court, there is no evidence to put us behind bars. But so you guys know we will have an army of police outside waiting for us. Are you prepared for that? We've got a heavily armed army of guards here. I need backup. Don't worry, Barack. The Brothers of Doom have your back. You want some, you motherfuckers? I'm about to unleash a downpour on all of you. Bringing the fire on you all. Feel the heat. Taste the wrath of the Brothers of Doom. I'm going to finish these ones off. Then we step out for the main deal. Are you fellas fucking ready for this? Say no more, Barack. I was made for this. Let's do this, Sleepy Joe. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah, fellas. Anything to get us out of this mess. Let's do it. Guys, we can't afford to make the same mistake again. This time we might not be so lucky. I strongly suggest we go all out. No holding back. We unleash everything we have on them. I couldn't agree more. Joe, we do this, get out safe, then you can return to your full duties as president, and I can go back to being the greatest critic of your government. Ha 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 ha, yeah, that's not a problem, Donald. Let's make it happen. We need to take cover. We're exposed to bullets from all angles. If we keep this up, we might not make it home. Let's find some cover. It'll give us a chance to shoot with precision and stay protected. Sleepy Joe, how fast can those frail legs of yours carry you? You'll need them more than your hands right now. I'm up for the task. Let's get out of here before bullets start flying through Donald's big mouth. He obviously doesn't know when to keep quiet. Ha ha ha. You're just sore, Sleepy Joe. I'm just looking out for a fellow compatriot, that's all. Guys, we need to stay focused. These guys are serious. Remind me again why we deserve this treatment from our fellow countrymen. I can help you with that. After the mission to retrieve the Dragon Balls, Sleepy Joe Sweet talked us into doing something for ourselves for once. He led us into our first gold heist. And of course, because it was his plan, it didn't go smoothly. Damn you, Donald. We all agreed to go on that mission. It's not my fault it turned out this way. Take some responsibility for once. Stop blaming others. Let's keep moving. We should be able to find a car on the other side. Keep pushing, guys. Sleepy Joe, pick up the pace, man. Shut it, Donald. Maybe if you focus more on the task at hand, you'd stand a chance at ruling America again. You're easily distracted. These guys are right on our tail, and you two won't stop your bickering. We're the brothers of doom for a reason. Let's show them what we're made of. Damn it, they've got air support. What's our next move? We need to grab that vehicle and get out of here fast, or it's game over. And trust me, they're not looking to end us quickly. They want to capture us and make an example of us. Well, as long as the humiliation comes with access to X and other socials, I'm all for it. Ha ha ha. And why the hell did Musk change the name from Twitter to X anyway? That's Musk's way of rebranding after your tweets turn Twitter into a cesspool. He had to distance himself from you and your chaos. I love this arsenal. I'm going to take down that aircraft on our tail. Yeah, you bitches. Joe Barack, if you promise not to crash this vehicle, leave the bad guys to me. With this weapon, I'm going to take them all out. All right, Donald. Finally, you're making yourself useful to your country. Gentlemen, we need to stay alert. Some police fans have gone ahead of us, and they're likely causing trouble on the road. Yeah, guys, I say we put an end to this nonsense on the highway before we reach town. We don't want to bring chaos to our citizens whom we're trying to protect. I disagree, fellas. I'm opening fire on any vehicle ahead and behind us. They could be disguised as civilians. We can't afford to be caught off guard. 
Donald, have some decency. How can you justify killing the people you vowed to protect? Say what you will, Joe. I've made my decision. This is our best chance to get out of this mess. Just focus on not crashing this vehicle and leave the big picture to me. Look, I understand your concerns, but we can't afford to play it safe right now. We need to take decisive action to ensure our safety. Donald, we can't just disregard the safety of innocent civilians. We have a responsibility to protect them, even in the midst of chaos. I agree with Joe. We need to find a balance between taking down our enemies and minimizing collateral damage. Collateral damage? We're talking about our lives here. We can deal with the aftermath later. Right now, we need to focus on survival. Let's not forget who we are and what we stand for. We're supposed to be leaders, not reckless vigilantes. Fine, if you two want to play it safe, go ahead. But don't expect me to sit back and watch while our enemies close in on us. Fine, if you two want to play it safe, go ahead, but don't expect me to sit back and watch while our enemies close in on us. Donald, ease up on the trigger. We can't afford to cause more harm than necessary. He's right, Donald. We need to exercise caution here. We can't risk innocent lives just to save ourselves. Are you too serious right now? We're in a life or death situation and you're worried about collateral damage? We're not saying we shouldn't defend ourselves, but we need to be strategic about it. We can't just shoot blindly and hope for the best. Let's think this through carefully. We need to find a way to neutralize the threat without putting more lives at risk. Neutralize the threat? We're not negotiating with terrorists here, Barack. We're fighting for our lives. Donald, we have to give credit where it's due. Your accuracy is impressive, but we still need to exercise caution. He's right, Donald. We can't afford to let our guard down, but we also can't risk innocent lives in the process. Innocent lives? You think I don't know that? But we're in a high-stakes situation here, and we need to do whatever it takes to survive. We understand that, Donald, but we have to be mindful of the consequences of our actions. We can't become the very thing we're fighting against. Look, I'm not saying we should be reckless, but we need to be aggressive if we want to make it out of this alive. Aggression has its place, but we need to temper it with wisdom and restraint. We can't afford to lose sight of our humanity in the midst of chaos. You see what happens when we hesitate. We get hit from behind. This is exactly why I don't want to show caution. These people aren't going to let us go scot-free. We need to use every trick in the book to get out of here. Donald, we understand the urgency, but we still have to be smart about our next move. Reacting impulsively will only make things worse. He's right, Donald. We can't let frustration cloud our judgment. We need to stay focused and think strategically if we want to make it out of this alive. I hear you, but we're running out of time. We need to act fast if we want to stand a chance against these guys. Agreed, but let's not forget that our primary goal is to get out of here safely. We can't afford to lose sight of that. All right, let's focus on getting to our safe place and laying low for a while. We need to shake off every police van on our tail so we don't blow our cover. Agreed. We can't afford to draw any more attention to ourselves. Once we're in the clear, we can regroup.